good evening, fellow YouTubers and fellow Twitchettes. How you doing today on this wonderful... Uh, okay, okay kind of day. I, I, I... Thank you, peanut butter. How you guys doing today? Uh, I've got something interesting for you guys. I want to see if I can be Blunarius by using just Ice Towers. Alright, and, and... I do get to pick my hero, though, and I want to figure out who I want to build. So... Um... I think I gotta go for the most powerful hero that I can think of. I don't think money is gonna be that big of a deal. Um, I could go Etienne for his, like, consistent damage. I could go... I think I gotta go Churchill, you know? I think if we're gonna go 140, we gotta we gotta do this. So... Now, there's obviously no guarantee that we're gonna even beat the first Blue Darius. But... I'd say there's a non-zero chance that maybe we'll get to at least the second or third or maybe even the fourth Blue Darius? Maybe? Maybe? What do you guys, what do you guys think? Um... I don't know. I like to think that I, you know, I like to think positive in life. So let's let's try it out. Let's go like this. Let's get the enhanced freeze, and uh, I might just go for a larger radius for now. But I definitely would like the enhanced freeze. Uh, let's get the enhanced freeze for now, and let's see where we're gonna go. Because lives might actually have to be sacrificed here, guys. With what DMG? Great question. Great question, my man. Uh, we're gonna see we're gonna see how it goes. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Now, we're doing something extra special for you guys today. Any donation of $10 or more, or here's the fancy part. Any subscription on Twitch today, uh, I will be doing a special, unique, fantastic, extra thing for you guys today. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, eat a mango slice. I've got dried mangoes here for you guys. So, um, I've been enjoying my mangoes. Oh, monkey knowledge is off. You're right. I need monkey knowledge on. Ho, ho. Glad you guys caught me. I turned it off for a video that I just did, and it's easy to forget about that. Oh, my God. Thank you for recommending this, man. I would I would have died for sure. I'd be dead already. Can I just continue with monkey knowledge on? Does that matter? Well, I kind of want the $200 to start. So, yeah, let's just restart. Let's just, reuse it. Let's just start it off. New game. All right, it's all good. So, uh, hopefully this is going to be fun. I don't know. Now we get this extra money to start. Oh, look at that ice tower range, man. It's even more huge. I don't even know what that what it is, but it's bigger. I like it. Let's go enhance freeze, and I'm just going to go for that larger radius. That looks good to me. Yes, I did. I have a clean shave. Um, I don't think I cut myself today, which was good. When I go from the big beard, you know, to down to nothing here, I almost always cut myself. So, there he is! Chance, baby! Thank you, Chance. By the way, I would also like to let you guys know that it has to be exactly $10, all right? Uh, if you have a different currency, make sure it's yellow. Make sure whatever it is it turns out to be yellow, all right? Um, and... Uh, I don't want a $20 donation, though, okay? It can't be $20. It has to be $10, okay? And I do have a limit to the amount of mangoes that I can eat. I've only got a limited amount in this bag here, so... We'll have to play it by ears, guys. Guys. Um, regardless. Thank you so, so much. Nope, it doesn't count if it's red. It's gotta be yellow. Gotta be yellow. That's the rules. Chance! Here you go, man. Chance, cheers. We'll feed some mangoes to ourselves and have some fun today. Five ten dollar donations would equal five mango slices. Yes, but but I do have a limit to the amount of donations that I will eat for mango slices today. So I don't know what that no limit is yet. Busy T M, thank you so much. I am indeed on the twitches. I am looking at the chat, or at least trying to look at the chat to the best of my ability here, guys. Right, let's speed this puppy up. So the one thing we're going to have to do is we are going to have to farm. 100% uh, we're going to have to make some extra money here. I don't know how we're going to do it, but we're going to try it out. See what we can do here. 
so you can pull off something sort of magical, majestic. And I am going to use a banana farmer, because who's got time for that, right? Who's got time for not the banana farmer? Mm -hmm. Who's got time for that? <laughs> Do you think I'll be able to beat Blue Narius with only ice towers? Oh, man. I'm gonna go with the no. But, you know, it's I think it's worth a try. I think it's kind of fun. Ice tower and a hero. Ice towers and a hero. That's it. Okay. All right, you guys might be a surprise. Maybe. I'm not I'm not 100% sure. Now, the question is, do I go for another Ice Tower here, or do I just go straight into my Captain Churchill and sacrifice the lives? Honestly, I think Captain Churchill is probably the way to go. I do need those levels. I do need the levels here, guys. Um, we'll have to see if it, if it works. I don't know. Think positive. Think positive. Oh, boy. Look at that. We don't have the free... Uh, you, know, you know what? Let's get refreeze. It's gonna it's gonna mean that uh, Churchill's gonna be a little bit further away, but I think two hundred dollars is worth it for the amount of refreezing destruction that we can get over here, guys. Oh, I should mention, yes, we are allowed to use the two support towers in the game. We are allowed to use banana farms and villages uh, for the camp detection aspect and the um, get rid of white's weakness aspect of the game as well. And we do get a hero. So uh, that all added together, I mean, all of our weaknesses are starting to slowly leave the game a little bit. It's not like we're going to automatically, you know, lose or anything like that. There's, there's, there's some benefits to this game in here. But Ice Towers, they've got some special th things about them. Super Brittle, we can do extra damage to Blunarius. Automatically, five times damage. Even just Churchill doing five times damage, fantastic, right? Then we've got... Um, uh, the Ice Kill Impale, which does damage to mob class balloons. So, like, hey, you know, I mean, if you really get down and think about it, that's really not too shabby. Alright, we're gonna go Churchill in just a second here. No Alchemist buff, though, no. No Elk buffs. Ice Shards can also da do damage if we're next to balloons. So, we go. I'm gonna go with the Churchill. I'm gonna go with them right here. I wanna be in the middle of the map. I wanna see one, two, three, and four different areas. Churchill's pretty solid for this map. And I haven't played this map in like forever, guys. So this could be a little bit weird. Alright. We got a 2 0 farm for now. Um, I think I'm gonna go for a couple of these guys. Probably like two, maybe three. I wanna farm, but I don't wanna go too crazy because I will need to get some uh, real damage out of Blue Nares here. I'm really relying on Churchill quite a bit. Uh, but I think if I get, like, a couple Ice Shards or something like that, maybe I can just do some extra damage with the balloons around him. Ice. A hero. Banana Farms and Villages. No, none of the other towers. No, I don't think so. I think just Ice, guys. I think we gotta do it. So, I, I, I want you guys to know, um... I know that a lot of you guys care, uh, and I'm really, really lazy, and I just kind of always put it off, because I'm like, I'm not sure what I want to do about it, and I was like, unsure if I really wanted to go through with it the way that I was going through with it, but a couple things that happened recently is I'm finally trying to get my merch shop up, so maybe later on today I'll show you guys some of the pictures of, like, the designs that I kind of have ready to go yet. The merch is not officially, like, ready to go. I wanted to get samples and make sure that it actually looks good. Um, and make sense before I a nice copter would be fun, but no, I don't think we could do. I don't think we could do that, guys. All right, I'm gonna stop with these banana farms for now. Uh, instead, I'm gonna switch into a. You know what? I'm gonna. I am gonna continue with these banana farms like this. Let's see if I can put a village here. Oh, that's beautiful. That's awesome, guys. Do that. Get that guy going, and then buy some more banana farms. We gotta make money. Money is gonna be super, super important. My question is, will Churchill? by himself, be basically strong enough to take down these blues. And I I don't think it is. So yeah, David's already seen some of it, but I am looking for more opinions. This is the regular blue areas. Okay, he does have the cam detection here. That's good. Didn't need to get a village or something like that. All right, stay in the rings of the village if possible. There we go. Beautiful. Nice. 
Look at that sexy action right there, guys. Look at that. Man. I kind of want to eat another mango slice, but I'm worried. I'm worried if I eat more mango slices that you guys are going to donate right after that. I'm going to be forced to eat mango slices that I don't want to eat right now. Okay, we're on round 35 right now. <sighs> here's the here's the tricky part, guys. Um, we gotta we gotta decide how we want to do damage to blue Darius. And right now, what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is I would like to get uh, uh, some top path ice towers here, like an ice shards. And I think the best thing for me to do is to go for an enhanced freeze with this guy. And I think we're gonna go for an embittlement. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do extra brittling things to them. We're gonna get rid of regen, we're gonna get rid of camo stuff, we're gonna make everything super weak, and hopefully do extra damage to balloon areas when the balloons kind of come around right underneath him here. Um, and I'm going to farm a little bit further, but again, it might be like a repeat where we have to like just sell everything and go for a fifth tier tower. I really hope it's not, because first level balloon areas with Churchill, uh, you know, we might be able to manage it. We might be able to manage it, because realistically, I don't think the damage of balloon areas itself is the problem. I think it's mostly the, uh, uh, the balloons inside, and I think the balloons inside will be taken down by ice. So here we go, guys. Let's start this off, and let's start this off strong. We've got level one of balloon arrows who have done zero damage so far. That's not good. I'm going to continue to farm, though. I'm going to be greedy as crap. We've done some damage. 100 damage down already, and we're going to continue to farm. All right, so Churchill does have to pop all these balloons in the back back here, which is okay. All right, we're going to use our ability here early on as soon as he's in range. Let's go for it. Ability! Extra damage, extra damage, extra damage. Churchill's done 1 20th of the damage so far. Not bad. Not bad so far. All right, what I'm going to do is a little bit weird here. I'm going to try, and I'm going to see if this guy can do extra damage to Blunarius. Can he even attack Blunarius here? I think he can't. I think he can't attack Blunarius as he currently is. Hmm. I mean, that kind of makes sense. Even the Icicles, I don't think he can attack Blunarius yet. But uh, that does get us ready for the uh, uh, fifth tier tower that we want to get in eventually. Icicle and Pale. I don't know if I want to get in just yet, but I think my best bet is just to wait it out. we got to play long term here, guys. we got a lot of time for Churchill to do some damage. 17, he's, mm, he's 1 8 dead. 1 8 dead. And I get to farm in the meantime, though. That's the good news. All right. I think I'm going to go for it, guys. I'm going to go for my monkey town. $10,000, kind of expensive, but it should be worth it. I have a... F oh, did I miss a donation? Oh, I suck, guys. Oh, there he is! Mbappe! Thank you again, Mbappe. Uh, or Mbappe. I think Mbappe. People are telling me that's how you actually pronounce it, but I like Mbappe better, if that's a right you. What's up, SJB? I wish I could watch the stream, but I got a football game. Oh, yeah, you're definitely a soccer fan. There he is. There he is. Thank you, man. We'll have fun. Have a wonderful time with your soccer game. Hope you have a blast over there. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to have a big chunk of ceramics coming out. We are kind of relying on this ice tower to do a lot of the ceramic damage here. Thank you so much, buddy. Uh, and have a wonderful time there. David! Yes, we started the stream a little bit earlier today. I saw your comment. And I did my best, man. I did my best. No promises ever, but I did my best. I did a shave, guys. I shaved. Also, oh, 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 give me a second. I might be blurry, but we got to wait it out. All right. Whoo, whoo, that was scary. I didn't like that. I did not like that. Okay, so I don't think we're going to have enough damage here. We are going to need to get a fifth tier tower. I think it's, it's best to just do it now. One, two, three. Uh, $30,000. Okay, screw it. We're going for it. Uh, Ice Cone Pale. There it is. That's going to be the damage that we need, I think. Uh, it's not crazy amounts of damage, but it is some damage here. We've got our ability ready to go again, and I'm going to go for another Ice Tower kind of in the back back here up to an Arctic Wind and see what we can do. Once we get the money, once we get the money. Churchill, ability, baby, ability! Go, 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 go! With the ice shards and everything combined together, they're getting to the very back over there. Oh my god, Churchill saving the day again. Absolutely beautiful. 
very struggleicious. But we are surviving. All right, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna go for the larger radius and refreeze back here. I want to stop them balloons, guys. Them ceramics are dangerous. Okay. I need to farm back up, though, because I lost almost all of my money I've been saving up here just to force that ice tower to exist. I kind of want to sell it in a second here just to kind of get my money back. But here we go. Churchill again. It's all up to you, my friend. Do the damage. Ice shards. Oh, this was way easier now. Oh, heck yeah. Heck yeah, guys. There we go. All right. Keep it flowing. He's almost dead. But now we're going to have to worry about this next level coming up. Round 60, he's going to be tough. Okay, there we go. All right, this guy, got to be done. You got, we got to say, see you later, buddy. We're going to go for the monkey town, the monkey city. And we're going to buy any upgrades that we can afford here in range of this village. Third tier farms all over the place. Take some money. Make some money. Make me some money. There we go, there we go. Thank you again, David, as usual, man. You're so awesome. He upgraded his membership to the Extreme Club. Thank you, dude. <clears throat> well, this guy's out of range. Now he's not. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven banana farms inside of the range here. Um, can I fit another one inside of the range? That would be absolutely beautiful if we could. It doesn't look like we can. It does not want to fit. Uh, we can't jam it in there, guys. Sometimes it's best not to try to jam it in. Sometimes it's best to just wait for your time to shine. I did not get a haircut, but I did get uh, a full shaving happening. So... The one uh, comment that I never respond to is, Do you read this? No, I do not read your thing. I specifically do not read your crap because you're annoying. All right. <sighs> we'll see how it goes. I mean, we're going to see how uh, successful this is. One, two. Okay, I got seven of those. I mean, do we want to go for this monkey outfit? No, no, no. We got to get four tiers first, guys. What am I thinking? Oh, my God. We're, like, ready to lose. Churchill, you can't do everything, man. All right, let's go for this guy. Quick icicles. Enhanced freeze, deep freeze. Uh-oh. Oh! All right, so we're already lost. But we didn't lose. Um, We need to get, though, we need to get... What else pops? Moab's good, man. I, their ice towers are not good against Moab specifically, except for the Icicle Impale. That's it. All right, so we got to get this, uh, this guy going, I guess. Put him in there. This guy is strong. I'm a little confused on why uh, Churchill seemed to not be killing the frozen balloons again. I think we're going to lose again. Oh, that one was really close, but 54 is going to be even more difficult, man. All right, boys. I do have ice abilities, I guess. We could snowstorm this crap. 54 was easier than 53 for some reason. Churchill get a magical level here. I don't know. Moab Barrage. That's going to help us out a lot. If you guys are curious about any gear that I use, check out my kit. It's in the description. Um, I don't recommend all of my gear to everybody. I don't think it works perfectly because I am a YouTuber, and my YouTube stuff is not necessarily designed for the average person. Okay. Question is, do I want to greed? I feel, I feel the need. I feel the need to greed. What do you guys think? I would love to get him to level 10. All right, we're greeding. We be greeding. It's worth. Try this. 
So zebras are definitely the problem right now. Most definitely. For whatever reason, this guy's having trouble even against the zebras here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop my village up. And we're going to get our village kind of like right over here. We're going to try to get him up to a third tier. Oh, crap. Well, you know what? Screw it. We're going to go primary mentoring as well. But I was thinking about going for a... <gasps> 58, man. Oh! This is tough, guys. This is tough. Every step of the way, we are going to be struggling here. All right, let's switch it back then. Let's do what I wanted to do in the first place. Let's do that middle path village. The mib. The mib. Maybe, I, maybe my problem is that he's on strong. I, I don't know. Ah. Maybe. I thought I was going to handle it, though. And then here we go. We got our ability ready to go. And now these zebras should not be much of an issue anymore. Not like an automatic win or anything like that, but... We've got the cam detection. We've got the zebra popping power. We've got, uh... We've got things flowing for us. Oh my god! Blunarius is already freaking here, dude. Round... S oh my god. It's round 60 already. When did that happen? Alright, we need we need an ice skull and pale. Stat. Absolutely stat delicious here. Let's freeze them all. All right, we might have to sell. We have to sell it. I don't know. Yeah, we gotta sell. Holy crap! All that banana farming that I've done this entire game just gone, just like that, gone. This is rough. Delicious, man. I love mangoes. You guys are rewarding me by also donating. It's like, it's kind of ridiculous to imagine. Alright. So we're going to put this guy on strong. I do want to do attack Lunarius pretty much non-stop in here. Uh, the other thing that I am going to do is because I think this is going to be the best thing for me, I need to go for a top path primary mentoring here. Um, get some extra damage if I can. And then I have to think if... Oh, here you go! He's going to be level 10. No, no problem. Okay. Yes, sir. We're still alive for now. 64,000 health. <laughs> yes. Level 10. Here he is. All right. So we've got this Moab Barrage. This is going to do like 10,000 damage or something like that. It's going to be awesome. Check this out. Check this out. Ready? Moab Barrage. Oh, that's not as good as I thought. Like 3,000 damage, man. 3,000. That's nothing. It's nothing these days. All right, so we've got that going for us. <sighs> At this point, I think I gotta farm. I have to make money long term. If I'm planning on beating beating even this guy, I mean, he's about a fourth through the map. We did him about a fourth way up. I don't feel too bad about it. Uh, just ceramics popping out this time around, so that's no big deal. We'll just go, boop, freeze them all. Use Churchill's ability. I'm going to put this guy in strong again, because I really want him to attack uh, uh, Churchill if at all possible. Or I beat the uh, Blue Darius. Alright, so we lost again. Oh my god. This is tough every way around. Every way you look at it. Okay, so we got to leave him on first, I guess. Um, This village... Or, I mean, one. I could do one thing different. I can get one ice tower right here. That should help us out. Beautiful. Okay, that's the game changer right there. This guy's in the range of this village, which is going to actually be allowing to pop those zebra blooms. Because the zebra blooms, I don't know if you guys can tell, but those are pretty much the, the, the hard part for me. We're going to put them back on strong here. Um, and... See if maybe I can freeze the next level of ceramics over here or something like that. We're down to 45,000 health. He's about halfway through the map already, though. I do have my Ice Tower on strong here. He should be attacking Blue Darius every single step of the way. Uh, for the next level, for sure, I'm probably going to have to sell and rebuy a lot of these guys, so I am going to need more money. Of course. Alright, use, use that ability. There's some damage. There we go. All right, Churchill, get ready, bro. We're going to go Ability, and in a second here, we're going to do a Freezy-Poo. 
Dude, I don't... I don't know what's going on here. It looks like he's not popping Frozen Boots properly. He should be in range of the... Oh, he's not in range of the village. He's not... He's not in range of the village, guys. I finally understand why we're losing. We're losing all of our popping power from this guy. Okay, so we gotta, we gotta move this village or get a new one. There's no freaking room, dude. I'm so upset. Alright, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna say, screw you. We're gonna get this guy up. We're gonna get rid of this village. And I'm gonna try to just get this one up to primary. Because that's where most of my towers are probably gonna end up. Alright. Let's do that. It's not a perfect world, but it is what it is. Uh, what, ha what was happening, by the way, guys, is that I thought that my village was in range of uh, uh, Churchill here. Oh, I never got the MIB yet. So look at that. So, I'm gonna wait it out. I really need that money. I really need that money. Look at this. This is so close. There we go. We're about to get it. Am I bizzle? There we go. All right. So Churchill was not in the range of this village right here, which was meaning that um, all of my uh, popping power is just getting destroyed by the fact that these were frozen balloons, and we were just literally losing out our popping power. Yes, sir. It was doing literally nothing. So I'm not sure if there's going to be an automatic win now, but it should go much better. Okay. Here we go. Another set of missiles. We're more than halfway dead at this point. I feel, you know, I feel okay. I feel like we might be able to pull this off. Level two. After that, though, that's when it's going to start to get tricky. Because look at the levels, guys. I mean, the next player is coming out. No time at all. No time at all. Okay, more missiles. Boom. I'm going to go for another ice tower right about yonder. I'm going to go for an uh, icicles with an ants freeze. This is going to help me out against these uh, random balloons here. Ants freeze. All right, he's ready to pop. He's ready to pop. All right, this is going to require a perfect freeze here. Look at that ability right there. Absolutely. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get popped, boys. Get popped. Oh, ice shards is be beautiful. Yes, ice shards, baby. All right. We have no more ceramics coming out. All we have to do at this point is pop balloon areas. And at this point, it's all about farming. So let's get to farming. Let's see if we can make some money. Make some money in here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead, boys. He's dead. There's no chance here. We are chasing a little bit, though. I think what's really going to kill him here is going to be these missiles. I actually did watch Squid Game. Squid Game was pretty good. Uh, 1,300 health left. No problem there. Oh, we do have free dart monkeys, but we can't use them. All right, 1,000 health left, guys. Will we pull off a tier two? Looks good. Tier two is dead. Nice. Nice. All right, let's keep it going, guys. We've got tier three coming up soon. Tier three is going to be tough. That's all I can say. Tier three is going to be tough. So what did that guy have? How much health? 300,000? 75,000? We went from 20k to 75k. So we about quadrupled. I think you go from 75k to 300k, if I remember correctly. So that's going to be another uh, quadrupling. And if we're struggling that much, I mean, how the heck are we going to get that much damage yes. out of these guys? It's going to be almost ridiculous. Uh, tier 3 already is going to be crazy.
Though I will say, we're still alive. We are still alive. Churchill does not have infinite range. He's got a good amount of range, though. Three fifty. Oh, we're quadrupling again. Oh man. All right, there's my three banana farms. I don't know. I would really, honestly, what I would love, I would love, I would love if my life allowed this to happen. I get two more banana research facilities, and then I'm able to monkeyopolis all of them inside of this guy right here. Space saving is actually important for me, even though it seems a little bit silly. Um, I would love it, but we're talking about a lot of money here, boys. A lot of money. It's not exactly cheap. I mean, this is a tough challenge, guys. You know, it would uh, make it better. I don't mean to be to be a stickler here, but... Oh, I forgot to change the... the crap. This stupid camera, man. Focus. It is on zero, though. That's good. Beautiful. I'm trying to beat it with only ice? Mild supports like farms and villages, and a hero. Here it is, last banana research facility. I really would love, I would really love if I got a, a monkeyopolis here. Love a monkeyopolis, but that then I have to decide do I want to get a super riddle before I get a monkeyopolis, or maybe I can pull something off in between all of them. I I don't know. All right, looks like we can't afford the Monkeyopolis, even though that's, like, the most upsetting thing ever. So, Ice Skulls also does not attack directly balloon areas. So that makes it even harder, because I'd normally just try to kill them with, with some sort of icicles or something like that. But uh, they're making it difficult on me. So we're going to start with a Super Riddle. We're going to have to move this guy around. Um, and we'll see how it works out. I mean, there's the Super Riddle. Let's do that to start. We're going to go for a random extra village. I'm going village crazy here, guys, because uh, things are not exactly going our way. 350k! All right, start off with some missiles. Maybe I should have waited until he was in the range there. I'm not really sure. All right, we do have balloons going all the way to the very back over here. Whew, scary stuffs. I had seven farms, and then the stupid village got bigger or something. Now, I can't fit stupid farms down here for some reason. Makes no sense. I had two farms there before. Anyways, here we go, guys. All right, get ready for it. Churchill, you're going to have to do the brute force of the damage here, my friend. Combine them with this super riddle. Do that extra damage. We're exploding pinks all over the place. This guy's doing okay, too, I guess. Hmm. All right, we want these missiles, and we want these missiles stat. There we go. Actually, it's almost a bad thing to have other balloons on the screen while I do my missiles, because they're not all attacking balloon areas. They're randomly hitting the other mobs and BFPs, which I don't care too much about, to be honest. All right, so we do have just about that money to get this delicious monkeyopolis over here. All right, every build is going to matter here. We're down only 25,000 health, and at this point, it's looking pretty bad. Like, space is going to be tough. Okay, another ability here. 20,000 deep. And now I'm going to have to start thinking about if I want to even uh, move my ice tower here. All right, let's do it, Monkeyopolis. Not perfect, but you know what? It's what I need right now. I need the space savers. I need this to happen. Let's just start using abilities here wherever we feel like it. And I'm going to try to leave this guy on strong again, even though last time I did that, it was terrible. All right, you got to go, my friend. We're going to have to rebuy you. We got to keep this going. In fact, oh my god, my villages, guys. My villages have been awful. No matter where I put my villages, they are, uh, they're just wrong, you know? 
All right, we are about an eighth dead. I would say he's a little bit further than an eighth through the map. So, you know what? I mean, it's not an impossibility at this point, but it's not looking good. It's not looking good. I think I do need to change my name to SJB. Everybody calls me SJB. SJB just sounds better. It's just, it's just what it's got to be. All right, so our next plan of action, guys. I think we're going to need to call to arms. I think we're going to need to power up our towers that currently exist already. I think it's the way it's got to be. Also, I'm kind of hoping that balloons kind of can explode around Balloonarius to just do damage to him. That would be great. All right, we've done 50,000 damage. That's only one-seventh of his damage. One-seventh. That is rough. That is real, real rough. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. No, I can't use all the alchemists. I would love to. I, I would feel good about that. All right, we got to move this guy again, even though I don't have much money. Let's do this one last ability combo here while he's still in range, still attacking, I think. And we're going to have to move him down to the bottom here. I don't have infinite money, though, so it's going to be important for us. Let's get the, rid of this guy and upgrade him right over here. All right, that's all of our money right there, guys. Also, yes, our farmer is taking care of that. Um... We're not even... Oh, he's halfway through the map. Oh, my God. He's halfway through the map, guys. All right. I don't know what to do at this point, but this guy's got to go. This guy's got to go. We're going to have to get rid of you, my friend, because we need to call to arms. Stat. We need it now. I want my money, and I want it now. All right, here we go. Special ability here. Let's use this uh, this ability as well. There we go. We are going to start to do extra amounts of damage here. Okay, we're about to break one quarter of the way through, but we still have a bunch of mobs and stuff in the back back here we're going to have to deal with as well. Um, yes. All right, I guess the question is, do we go all out at this point? Do we, do we force it? We might have to. Okay. Here it is. All out, baby. We want to try to beat Tier 3. It's our only chance. Get Churchill higher. Get a homeland. Now I've got a homeland defense here to give me some extra damage on top of this stuff. We're going to use all of our abilities here as well. And there we go. Every single dollar is currently invested in this game right now, boys. We saved up over $130,000. We're one quarter of the way through. He's like three-fourths through the map. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ice towers. What are you doing to me? I think he's still in range here. Looks like he's still attacking. I think so. We're down to 250s. We have done over 100,000 damage. But he's just too far on the map. He's just too far in the map. All right. Come on. Come on. Last ability here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. I would almost feel happy at this point if we got him to this second skull. If we got him to this second skull... Before we lose, I would feel satisfied. All right. The pink balloon's getting in the way over here. Explode them on top of Blue Darius. Right, another big chunk of damage coming to this guy, but it's just no good. This is our new goal, guys. We've realized we cannot beat Blue Darius. But if you know what? If we do this, then we will be satisfied, right? I will be satisfied. You will be satisfied. We will all be satisfied. I don't have enough money for the Ice Cone Pale. Got to sell it. Rebuy. Got to get him a range. Use our abilities. Come on. Get that second skull going. Get that second skull going. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got it. We got it, boys. Come on. Come on. 190? 
Can we get any lower? Bludarius? All right, Homeland Defense on top of that. Extra damage while we use our abilities. 180, we're about to break the second skull. Can we do it? We do! We beat the second skull, but that is where we get taken down. So the question is, can you beat Blunarius with Ice Towers? You know, maybe, just maybe, just maybe, if you farm like almost perfectly, do a little bit better start than I do, a little more greedy than you start, than, I, than my start. You might be able to beat tier 3. But I think tier 4 has got to be like 100%. It's got to be too hard, right? It's just got to be. So, uh, I'm happy with my round 86. I don't think it's worth to try it again. I think it's going to be I think it's going to be too hard, you know. I mean, like I said, maybe, just maybe. If we use alchemists, if we use like support towers like engineers, if we use other things to support ourselves, like maybe, you know, I mean, that we can start to get a little bit further. But it's even worth it at that point. I mean, is that what you guys want? You guys want me to just try again, but with all the supports? Only engineers. I kind of like that idea. You guys want to try that? Hey! Jonathan! Good to see you with that hype hippo back in action, buddy. Thank you. As usual. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Jack. All right. We'll shoot the engineer. Engineer only. If we're going to do that, let's pick a different hero, though. What do you guys want? Gwendolyn? Let the madness begin! Sure. Gwendolyn, engineers only. Let's do it. Let's do an engineer start. Why not? We will be spamming, though, so, like, positioning here. It's going to be kind of stupidly important. Oh, I'm already eating mangoes, man. It just happened. Jack! Thank you, Jack. How's it going? Today's it's going okay. I've had an okay day. Uh, I worked really, really, really hard. You no, know, I had this time. I'll take this slow. I'm going to show you guys some pictures here. See if I can do this. I don't even know if I can do this. I'm excited about this. I don't know if you guys are excited about this. But. Hey, it does show up. All right. So I'm going to have to try to multitask this out a little bit. These are uh, my new shirt designs. It obviously does not look uh, that great with the pixels, and I am ordering my own samples to make sure they're actually going to turn out. But I'm curious on what your guys' thoughts are. So this is... Uh, I went with, like, four com almost completely different designs from each other to try to... Um, I don't know. See what people like. You know, I, I, I'm not, like, sold that 100% of these have to go out, but I like options, right? So, this is the first one. We're going to delete that real quick. This one's my favorite, personally.
Now, none of these, again, are set in stone. I can still change them around and and look at everything, but... Um, this is design number two. Again, this is my personal favorite, but I don't know if that's going to be what everybody else likes, because it's simple. I feel like a normal person could just, like, wear this out on the street and not have people be like, Oh my god, you're a Blues CD6 player? But, like, somebody who knew SJB... Super jump up, and they might like. Oh yeah, hey, you what? You play balloons? Or like, hey, you're, you know, you know, you know, Chris? I'm like, yeah. So, I like this one probably the best out of all of them, but um, I'm not sure if this is something that people would actually wear out in real life. I like the like smaller symbol again, ordering, um, ordering them to make sure that they actually uh, look good when I actually get them, because I'm not sure if it's gonna like be, look terrible when we finally actually get it, you know. I don't want to sell you guys anything that's that's terrible. Here's the third one. This one was uh, designed straight from uh, the company. They gave me like a free design, so I took advantage of it. So this is their design. Um, I'm not sure if I want to try to move that up a little bit or make it a little bit smaller, but. I think it's pretty cool, you know? I, it's like, it shows off, like, it's a monkey, it's SJB, but it's not, like, 100%, like, absolutely ridiculous or something like that. So, their fave. Oh, really? Okay. With white letters instead of the purple. Fair enough, fair enough. I don't know if I can change the colors very easily, but... It's clean. Do you guys like where it is, or do you guys think it should be, like, higher... Bigger, smaller, any differences, or you kind of just like like the way it is. I am honestly curious. Hundred percent. A bit higher, good place, bigger. Higher and smaller. Higher. You see a lot of hires. A little mix on higher and smaller. I could give like uh, two options maybe. This would be the front. You guys think that should go on the back? Okay. Okay, fair enough. I like it. My current logo, I could do that as well. That'll be up there when I finally launch. None of this is launching yet. I'm getting your guys' ideas right now. This is live. That's why we get to talk to each other. Have some fun. Anyways, I really appreciate the uh, the feedback, guys. It really does help me out. Oh, you want that on the back with like a little SJB on the front or something like that? Okay. All right. Uh, the prices will range. It starts around uh, uh, like 23 or 24 and goes up to like 27 or 28, depending on what kind of shirt you want to get. Why is he wearing gloves? I don't know. Uh, I did not make the design. Again, it was a free design to me, but I thought it was pretty good. Let the madness begin. All right, so we did not farm crazy hard. That'd be sick. You guys like that? Okay, cool, cool. Again, appreciate the input. And here's the last one that I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sold on. Uh, the main thing is I'm unsure of how the print will actually come out. Like, is the print just going to look god-awful when I finally get to see it, you know? I'm not sure. Um, Alright, let's speed this up, though. I think we got we got things going at this point. But this will be the last shirt design that I have for right now. And then the other one that I might use is just a Super John Bobo icon, just real small. Kind of up in the top right corner of your shirt or something like that. Just simplistic. Nobody will know who who or what it is unless you, you know, specifically watch SJB. Which, 
I don't mean to to make it like that, but one thing that I've noticed is that not everybody wants people to know that they're like wearing a Bloom Star Defense shirt. I've realized that, and I don't I don't think it's any I don't think it's offensive in any way. I don't think Bloom Star Defense Six is like a loserish game or anything like that. But not everybody wants to be like, hey, I like this game so much that I want to wear a shirt of it. It's more that they want to support their favorite creators. They just want to have like a cool looking design that sort of. Um, supports their creator and also looks all right, you know? That's what I've noticed. But maybe I'm not 100% accurate with that that thought process there, so... Um, I don't know. That's that's how I think about it, right? Hey, MessMH, thank you so much, man. Welcome for the sub. Thank you so much for the sub. I am said welcome. <laughs> You're welcome for subscribing to me. <laughs> no, thank you, dude. That's so nice. Uh... And also, Precipitating Relaxation, man. That's that's awesome. Thank you so much. Pre that's a wonderful name right there. I feel like I could totally have some Precipitating Relaxation, you know? Just let listen to the raindrops fall and just live life to the best of your, your life over there. Feels good, right? Feels real good. All right, guys. So what we're doing is we're doing a very... If you guys are curious, we're doing a very similar play. Uh, what we want to do is we want to try to do um, uh, a banana farm hero and engineer only strategy with probably just like a village i don't think i'm gonna go crazy with the villages we want to see if we can be the tier five um if we do end up struggling really 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 hard where we like lose on tier five and we're like unbelievably close we just cannot seem to get what we need to get maybe then i'll switch into doing some overclocking or something like that but i'd rather not you know if at all possible i would like to not do that i'd rather just continue to farm uh farm hard and 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 be good so uh, I I have never used powers to beat. Actually, I don't know if never. I've tried once to use powers to beat Bluenarius, but maybe that would be a fun using only Insta Monkeys to beat Bluenarius. <laughs> I mean, that would be like a little bit, a little bit weird, admittedly. One for you, one for you. Oh crap! So All right, we're losing shield lives already, guys. We got to be careful here. We're gonna go. We're gonna go over the uh, sentry gun already. That's gonna that's gonna get us growing where we need to go. I think. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do, uh, I still want to farm hard. I'm going to throw this down real quick. Pop the camo. And then here's the last one, which again, I'm not 100% sure that I, I like it. Uh, I don't, I, I don't mind it personally. I feel like it, it looks pretty stylish. But at the same time, I think that a lot of people won't want to watch it, won't want to wear it because it's almost like too big of a design. You know, it's like too fancy of a design. I don't know how else to put it. Here you guys go. It's also on a white background instead of a back background, so it might be a little bit difficult to see what it actually is. But give me you guys honest opinions on this. Um, tell me what you think. All it is is that little SJB design there. It's going to be difficult to see, probably especially with YouTube on there. But that is like a design. It's like a rainbow sort of galaxy uh, design that like kind of sucks into it. Um, I, I, you know, I think it's like a, a, a mix. It's not good. I like it a lot. A little too much. Not really your style. It's cool. It, it can look cool, but is it something you'd want to wear? That's that's two different things entirely, for sure. Looks like a wrapper shirt. This one's too much. Uh, it, I do have a black option. I don't have a, a screenshot of it right now, but there is a black option. All right, I think most people do like the darker shirts. Let me, you know what? Let me see if I can get a picture of it just to. Sh to show you guys. While you guys are all here and all excited for me, thank you. I appreciate that, by the way, guys. It's nice of you guys. Alright, what we're to do, um... We can fit a village. That is nice. Not perfectly, but good enough. Uh, we're gonna get a village over here. We are gonna go for these guys. I think we're gonna try to fit a couple third tiers in here before we go to Cray Cray. Looks like a designer brand. Alright, that's, that's fun. That's, 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 that sounds cool. You don't like the textures of the box. I'm surprised you guys can see the textures, to be honest. Because it's it's pretty... Uh, it is very texturous. 
I will say that. I don't know what, what a better word for that is, but textrous is probably the best, the best word that I can come up with there. All right, we got to be careful here. There's going to be a lot of camos in here. Um, all right, this could be quite a few lives lost. Yes. 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 I didn't want to force the camo. I'd rather farm, so let's do that until round 36. All right, there we go. We got that guy going. Um, we're gonna need a. We can get one more before we get the bigger radius, and I can fit. Think we can fit one more or two more in there. But I am gonna need that camera detection. Oh, you know what? Maybe for thirty. No, for thirty-six, I will. I'm gonna need the camera detection. So let's go. Let's do it. Let's get the village going. Positioning is most definitely difficult. Deciding on how I want to get these guys in here, but radar scanner, pretty pricey. It's a pretty pricey. Pretty pricey to fit in my things. Pretty pricey! Alright, so so far we have not done much engineer action, and that's mostly because Gwendolyn has been amazing so far. So we're finally ready to go double gun here, and that's going to be where the real action is happening, guys. Um, we're going to go bigger radius here. We are in range here. We do have the camo section on this guy, so we're going to have no problems against camos. We've got the lead popping power. We've got the purple popping power. I think we're totally good. It's better to go for villages just so you have them for the rest of the game, in my opinion. All right, we got that. We're going to go bigger radius. We're going to try to get one more third tier out here, and then I think I'm going to try... I have to do something kind of crazy. I'm going to have to go for either a spam of engineers. Maybe I shouldn't farm anymore. A spam of engineers, or I have to force myself to go up to a fifth tier top path engineer, I think. All right, I'm going to go for a spam. Let's go for it. I'm feeling the spam. You guys feeling the spam? Let's go to the spam. I'm a little worried about the ceramics. Uh, but let's see what we can do. A bunch of engineering and faster engineering things. And then I think what I should do is, believe it or not, I think I should go for the deconstruction. I think that's going to actually give me that extra uh, Blunarius popping power here. So there we go. We got deconstruction on those guys. Deconstruction. What did I buy here? I, went sp I got sprockets, I guess. All right. We have sprockets. There it is. Thank you, C-Fram. Appreciate it, man. Bring me back to the day. I haven't done the turkey noise at all. Oh, crap. Look at this. We have to do something about that. All right. How are we doing? We are doing good on popping power. This is not bad at all so far. Um. So, for the spam, you know, I mean, not great. Not great. But okay. Uh, it's, it's dealable. I'm going to go for, like, one more of these guys, and now that I have everybody... Ooh, I just feel like I need to finish it off. All right. Now that I've got that guy going, I still need to worry about these giant chunks of ceramics coming in. So we're going to try to go for a couple top path engineers, or... Um... Yeah, I think I need to go for a couple top path fourth tier engineers now. It's fairly expensive. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell a farm to get this guy, at the very least one of them. And we're going to go for the Oversized Nails and Pin. And we're going to see if this is going to be enough for uh, the ceramics. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I, I think we might be we might be struggling a little bit here, guys. Oh, boy. We're going to throw Gwendolyn's ability down. Oh, we kind of missed. We kind of missed. Is it going to be too little? Or just enough? Beautiful. Just a freaking enough, baby. That's what you want to see. It's exactly what you want to see, guys. Hey, C Fram, there he is, man. Thank you again, C Fram. That's so nice of you, dude. Okay, now do one like five times as long, dude. What are we doing? Oh, oh my God, I'm really we're doing turkey noise. Five. Okay, I'll do it for as long as my breath can hold me. Sat satisfactory. Thank you, C-Fram. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Alright, we're gonna get back into farming because I feel pretty good about these. I feel like we're gonna take them down. Look at all these engineers, man. And they're all on deconstruction here, so we do have the extra uh, blue Narius or Moab popping power. So, uh, that'll help us out in the long term here, too. In the long term. 
All right, so sadly, even with the bigger radius, we're not in range here. It's kind of sad. Oh, we're back in action, though. I feel pretty good at this point. Um, I think we're easily going to take down Tier 1. I think Tier 2 shouldn't be that bad. Oh, no. Gwendolyn! Gwendolyn! Thank you, by the way, David. Thank you for letting everybody know. It's very nice of you, my man. If we do turn this into a video, yeah, probably. <laughs> probably, I think you got that right, man. All right, here we go. More banana farm. These guys are actually surprisingly solid, though. The amount of pops we got out of these guys is pretty awesome. Kind of weird how many, almost exactly equal these guys are in pops. Yeah. Now she's doing most of the work here. These guys got a ton of pops, though. Holy crap! I am very surprised with the amount of pops that came out of that. All right, looks like we're gonna go for a fourth tier here. I think it's time, guys. You know what? Also. I'm going to eat my own. We're eating, uh, we're eating a delicious mango slice. Mine. Mine. Mess MH, thank you so much, my man. Thank you for the subscription. Appreciate it a bunch. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know it was a little late there. My chat's very small on Twitch. The hardest Blunarius map yet was definitely Blunarius Prime, in my opinion. <laughs> I gotta go with it. Oh, crap. Here we go. Banana research facility. All right, we're doing fantastic on pocket power. We just gotta wait it out at this point. Make it, like, money. So, okay. I don't have stocks in dried mango business or anything like that. But maybe I should. Because. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I just got these for the first time ever, maybe, like, two months ago. And they're, like, a little bit pricey. You're not supposed to eat, like, a thousand of them. Okay? You're supposed to eat, like, four. What's the serving size? Four pieces is 140 calories. Okay. That seems pretty fair, I guess. Uh, but... Man. I totally need to get in the dried mango business or get, in the, get some dried mango stocks or something like that. Because, holy crap, dried mangoes are delicious, guys. I can't eat regular mangoes, though. Regular mangoes suck. The problem is with regular mangoes is, is you can never get them perfectly right. You have to be like a god to get mangoes perfectly right. Okay? So... Man! Dried mangoes, though, every single one's delicious. I don't know what they do. I don't know how they do it, but they, they did it right. They, they did it right, man. Dried mangoes are good. And mangoes are pretty messy. They're hard to eat. You can't just, like, take a bite out of it. You have to, like, cut it up, and it's, like, tough to cut up and everything. Let them do all the work for you. Get a dried mango jumbo slice of delicious heaven right in your right in your mouth, guys. I don't think I've had fresh mangoes from the Philippines. No, I don't think I have. I think that... Holy crap, Blunarius is here! Screw the mango talk. We gotta get back into sweet, delicious Blunarius destruction action. All right, what we need to do, guys, for sure, we're gonna go for the... Uh, such a bear dog. Uh, we already do a decent amount of damage with these guys, but they're not going to be able to keep up anymore. So, we're going to have to uh, try to get this guy pretty much as fast as possible. The good news is, I think if I farm hard enough, guys, I might be able to, like, overclock some of these guys and make things really crazily, really crazy happen. We could not beat Blunarius with just ice, in case you guys are curious. We couldn't do it. We lost. Here we go. Sentry Paragon. This is going to be a game changer for us. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Again, again. Oh my god, you hate me. hate mangoes? What's, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Alright, I actually feel pretty confident that I think we're going to take it down with just our current towers. I think we're good. I think I'm going to take it chill from now on. I'm just going to keep on farming and stuff like that. I want to make that extra money because what I would love to do is get my central power on 
overclock 10 times. I think that's like the number one thing that I can do. I could probably get some sort of extra, extra large trap or something like that and make some extra cash flow. But I think farming is probably more important to me for me for right now. Um, the stream could be lagging like a smidge, but according to me, the stream is not lagging at all. All right, here we go. Big chunks of ceramics. How we doing? Let's just keg blast them. Beautiful. Take him down. Yep, I'm going to keep on farming. Just thinking about what I want to do. Oh, man, you're allergic to mangoes. I think, honestly, if you're, like, ready to die, you're on your deathbed, and if you have, like, one last thing that you're going to do before you die, you should eat a mango. Okay, eat a mango slice. Dried mango slice. Better than a mango. Everybody agrees. Oh, yeah, good freaking monkey town, man. Look at this. Boom, boom. Monkey city. Make some extra cash. Looking good. So, believe it or not, we're actually not doing as good as I thought. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna switch this up. I'm gonna go for another engineer. Try to get an overclock, and I'm trying to. Uh, yeah, we're halfway. I mean, we're doing okay. Doing okay. Oh, Tony, man. You just had to make my day this that much sadder, didn't you? Thanks, Tony, for letting me know about this. This terrible rule of life. Okay. But let me let me let you guys in on a secret. Okay. This is a secret that nobody will ever tell you. You guys ready for this? You'll never hear this from anybody else. You can parrot it as much as you want. And I want you to respect what I say. I don't want you to say it wrong. Okay? You have to listen very carefully to what I say. Because the carefulness of what, how I say it and what I say is the important part of what I say. A Hershey kiss will not kill a dog. Okay. One Hershey kiss it will not kill a dog. So. What's going on with the rule that you shall not give chocolate to dogs is only partially right. Okay. And here's the reason why. All right. Now, first of all, I will say that, uh, you know, milk is not necessarily good for a dog. Obviously, dogs are lactose intolerant, so you shouldn't be giving dogs milk. You shouldn't even be giving cats milk, either. They're also lactose intolerant um, in, like, almost all situations. So, here we go. Blue Dairy Steer 2 is taken down, and we're farming like crazy. This is good. This is real good, guys. It's fantastic. So, here's the thing. This is how this works. Alright, I'm gonna explain it to you guys. This is gonna be this is gonna be absolutely insane. Okay, you need to know this though. There's this chemical in chocolate that's called theobromine. Okay. And theobromine is generally not good for any animal that eats it. In large quantities. Okay. What the difference is between dogs and humans when it comes to chocolate is that humans are able to much more readily um, filter out or destroy the theobromine. Okay. Consider theobromine toxic. And our body is able to uh, deal with theobromine in a much easier and faster way than dogs can. So. Oh, man. I can't fit all these banana farms in here. Crap. Well, I'm just going to go for it. Monkeyopolis, there it is. We're just going to rebuy some banana farms and get some money flowing in here, guys. So, if you gave a dog a Hershey kiss, it's not going to kill the dog. Do I recommend that you give dogs chocolate all the time? Absolutely not. But it's not like a Hershey kiss or an M&M or something's going to kill a dog. The one main thing you shouldn't give dogs is grapes. 
Alright, if you guys don't know, grapes and or raisins, never give them to dogs. That is how you kill your dog. Uh, you'll give a kidney failure or a liver failure or something like that. I don't remember what, but it, kill, it kills your dog, so that was not good. But a small amount of chocolate will not kill a dog. Um, so, the real reason that people always talk about how chocolate can kill dogs is that people will say they'll just not know that chocolate at all um, hurts dogs, and they'll just give their dog as much chocolate as they want. They won't be able to break it down very readily, and it'll kind of like stay in their system and like be bad for them long term. If you just keep giving your dog chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. I think it's an important fact to know. You should understand why. Uh, why or how chocolate hurts dogs rather than um, just living by blind blind facts, right? So, um, the real reason why it's dangerous, though, is because if your dog, for example, eats a chocolate cake, all right, because what happens is a human will eat a piece of chocolate cake, and will be like, oh, I'm full of chocolate cake. Maybe I'll have a second. But a dog will be like, oops, you left this chocolate cake on the ground. Let me eat the entire cake before you find out that I have eat have come over here and eaten this chocolate cake. So then they eat a full chocolate frickin' cake, or they eat an entire pan of brownies, or they eat an entire something, and that is when it gets really dangerous for dogs to eat chocolate. You shouldn't give dog uh, uh, crazy amounts of chocolate. Okay. Uh, now, I'm not telling you again that you should give your dog chocolate. It's not good for them for other reasons. But as far as giving your dog a Hershey kiss, you know, on their birthday or something like that, no, that's not going to kill them. It's not going to hurt them long term. It'll be fine. Even like a Chihuahua or something like that, man. Uh, again, half of, give them a half a Hershey kiss if you really want to make their day, alright? We want them to, to, to live life to the fullest. But, again... Do you need to give your dog any chocolate at all? No. There's enough treats out there. There's enough food out there. You can give them whatever they want. They can still be happy without giving them the chocolate. So it's kind of up to you on how you want to do it. But uh, for me, I will tell you that I give my dog um, every once in a while. I'll, I'll uh, if I, or especially if I like drop a piece of chocolate or drop a chocolate chip or something like that. No big deal. Go ahead, eat, eat the chocolate chip. It's not gonna kill. Him. Oh yeah, mango slices, guys. Mango slices. All right, so we're back in action right now. Let's speed this up. I'm still farming pretty hard because I have to go for some more engineer plays, guys. I need to start overclocking my engineer, and I, that means what I need to do is I need to start getting this guy up to fifth tier. Not just fourth tier, but fifth tier. All right? So this is $120,000. That is not cheap, and I want to start upgrading this guy up the Wazizzle. All right, because last time, I don't know if you guys remember, but we were starting to struggle. I think what we're relying on right now is way too much um, Central Paragon to destroy all the balloons. Instead of uh, destroying just balloon areas. So, ooh. oh, oh, no grapes. Definitely don't give your dog grapes. There's some other foods too that you probably shouldn't give your dog, like onions. Uh, large quantities of onions are not good for dogs. Um, I don't remember all of them. Uh, you should watch out what kind of sugar you give your dog because I forget what sugar it is, but like it's bad. It's it's not good. For it's not bad for humans, but if you give it to dogs, it somehow causes cancer. Um, I think. It's like a, one of the fake sugars. That's what I heard. I don't remember. I don't remember what it's called. For some reason, sucralose is popping in my head, but I'm not sure if that is it. Alright guys, we're almost to where we need to be. The Ultra Boost. I'm still afraid, though. I don't know if this is going to be enough at this point. I need to start spamming more sentries and more engineers all over the place, guys. All right, Ultra Boost. Come on, come on, come on. I really want to do is I want to get an Ultra Boost. Then I want to get an extra, extra large trap. Slurp up all the balloons as they come in. And, uh, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Boop, 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 boop. Ultra Boost. All right, Ultra Boost. We're going to Ultra Boost this guy up to ten times. And we're going to get the jungle. You're right. Get the drunk drums on this guy. Heck yeah. And we're going to go for a bunch of engineers all over the place over here. We're going to need this damage, guys. This is only tier 3, but the damage is going to be diff difficult to come by. Alright. There's 4, 6. Guess we're going for some over here, too. Here 
we go. Keep on overclocking, though. That is going to be important for us. We can speed this up a little bit. I think I'm good. Oh, wait, maybe I shouldn't speed this up. Lunaris is about to pop out. Just any second, though. We want to make sure we get as many engineers down as we can and make sure we upgrade them. Upgrade with a double... Double D for a double dose of his pimpin'. All right, there we go. Get this guy, and boom, 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 boom. Oh, I ran out of money. Oh, no, I didn't. Clicked on an engineer, or a uh, sentry instead of an engineer. Keep picking on sentries. Alright, the last thing I want to do is I want to try to save up for my extra, extra large trap and just throw him, kind of, almost as soon as they walk in the map here. Just uh, extra, extra, extra large trap that puppy. And we do want to get that faster engineering because that's supposed to make our uh, things come back quicker. Alright, so as far as damage is concerned, we're doing terrible! Absolutely terrible right now! This is terrible! This is awful! This is horrible! This is nothing! At this point, we are probably going to lose. Oh, man. Uh, but yeah. Oh, I never finished my story, I guess. Or whatever. Uh, you guys distract the crap out of me, man. Plus, Blue Darius distracts the crap out of me. I, well, I used to work at a garden center. Um, and I also was going to college. I went to college to, uh, get my degree in biology. Right after I got out of school for my degree in biology, I started looking for a job. And I had a very, very, very hard time actually uh, getting a job. Uh, it was, for whatever reason, a bad time for the economy, and it was tough to get a job. So I did the best that I could, and I realized, you know what? Do I take this this jump of, of faith, this leap of faith? Do I try to just... Um, Do I try to just do YouTube full-time? Because at that point, I was doing YouTube as videos for a hobby for the past like, three or four years. I started to make, uh, uh, you know, a few thousand dollars a year. And I was like, do I want to try to make that my full-time job? Uh, do I think I could pull it off? And I put all of my energy, every ounce of uh, everything that I had into making videos for several years. Right after that, that was right when I started to making all my Blue Bucky City videos and everything. Um, and uh, it worked out for me, you know? Life is, uh, life is, life is okay. You know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how YouTube is going. Last year, I was not happy with how YouTube is going. This year, I'm pretty happy with how YouTube is going. So, to each their own. Alright. I'm gonna need more crap, though. That's the problem. Alright, let's go with this guy up to Call to Arms. And try to get, gonna try to get a Homeland Defense here, because we're not even a quarter of the way dead here. He has not really reached this section yet, though. That's the good news. I did get the wrong cross path. I meant to get this. I meant to get the other one or build a new one. I meant to. I didn't. Well, now we're in an even deeper hole right now, guys. We're in a freaking deep hole right now. We got to see if we can pull this off magically. Uh, there's no no correct answer here, but now what I need to do is I need to start building more engineers. See if we can eat our way out of this hole, boys. Let's eat our way out of this hole. We gotta keep on overclocking if at all possible. He's about halfway through the map right now, and he is not even close to halfway dead. Um, he was overclocked like five times though, and I lost all of that extra power. So, I got that going for me. XX Lavender! Thank you so much, Lavender friend. Welcome to the Tier 1 Club. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will eat a mango slice in your honor. Good sir.
All right. There we go. Well, I'm glad I can hook you up, man. I know everybody's got stressful times. Everybody's got sucky times that they have to go through. All I can hope for is that I can give you guys at least sparkle in your life. A little bit of help. Um, especially when you need it. I know I have those times, guys. And uh, a lot of times, you guys have helped me through some rough times. So thank you very much for that. Puchelski! There he is. Thank you so much, man. Thank you for that prom subscription. It sounds cooler when you do that, you know? It sounds cooler. Maybe I should subscribe to myself. I've got Amazon Prime. It's like free money. Is that cheating? Is that cheating the system? I'm not sure. All right, here we go, guys. They were on the last bit of stuff here. Um, Blunarius is going down, though. He is, he is dying. All right, ooh, ooh, ooh. We, we can go for the homeland defense at this point. Um, but the the land is pretty much all taken up already, and this is only tier three. Like, what the heck am I going to do against tier four and tier five? Who the heck knows? Who the heck knows? Should we be scared? All right. DDT's already at round 90. Holy crap. Holy crap. So somehow Gwendolyn already got to max level. That's pretty cool, I guess. Right, there's six times overclocked. We will take this guy down here. Not a huge, huge deal. Oh, a hype train. I've never heard of this. This is pretty fun. A hype train is close. Sub gifter use bits now to start a hype train. Ooh. Oh, man. I don't know if you guys are going to do it, but that's that's okay. I've never seen that before. That's just kind of fun. I'm kind of curious what's going to happen. All right. We got to go for more engineers, guys. Tis the answer to life. Hey, uh, there he is. There we go. Tier 3 is popped. Woo! All right. I feel like I'd not do a good job over here. I'm going to rebuy. Rebuy, rebuy. Maybe I did do a good job. No, 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 no. No, not, not good enough. Maybe. Maybe one more. Oh, crap. Infinite X rule. Thank you so much, my man. Appreciate it, buddy. All right, so we got to keep on overclocking this guy. we got to get him up to 10 times here for sure. I can start overclocking other engineers as well if I feel like it. Uh, this is going to be ridiculous. That's all I can say, guys. This is going to be absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I am honestly... This is basically a random odd series in a nutshell here. Hey! We've started a hype train on Twitch, guys. Holy crap! Hype! 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 There it is. Thank you. Thank you, Angelus, for them hypes. Thank you, Canman50. Oh, my God. You guys are awesome. Thank you, Nightmare. Or, no, not Nightmare. Night Terror. That sounds even scary. Holy crap nuggets. Holy crap nuggets. Canman. You crazy mofo, you. Thank you, dude. He gifted a tier one sub to five different people. It's very nice of you guys. Thank you so much. Oh, we've reached a level two hype train. Oh my god, I've never seen this before. What the heck is going on on Twitch, guys? I have no idea. Oh my god, look at the amount of towers on the screen. Look at the amount of towers on the screen. This is insanity. Lag is 100% a real thing these, these days. Thank you so much, DFED. Thank you, thank you. Shrek to Onves. Thank you. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Thank you so much. Angelus. Thank you so much. Or Jonathan, however you want to do it. However you like it. I don't know. I don't know these days. 
JB, whatever we want to do, man. Oh, some people call me a mad lad. Some people call me a crazy mofo. Some people just don't call me anything because they don't know who I am. That's all right. <laughs> hey, Apex is a pretty fun game. I never got into it. My friends got into it, but I tried it out. And the one thing that I don't like about my friends, maybe they'll listen to this and they'll they'll be mad. They'll they'll understand why, but they're not good at introducing you to games. It's like they don't want you to play with them. You know, like if you don't know how to play already, they're just like, we're not going to help you. Either get good by yourself and play by yourself until you're good enough to play with us, or don't play with us at all. Um, at least that's how I feel. Because, like, I tried to play Apex with them, and they're just like, you have to know how to play already. They weren't like, oh, here, we'll guide you through. We'll teach you how to play really quick. We're going to, like, play with you. And it was kind of, it was kind of sad, you know? Because I just, I felt, like, unwanted. Um, I felt unwanted. But, because, like, I know when, when I want people to play with me, the, the number one thing that I want to do is I want to teach them how to play. You know? That's what I want to do, at least. Alright, there we go. We got a nine times overclock that guy. Uh, we're building everything. Oh my god, dude! This is getting insane over here on Twitch. You guys are freaking... S I don't know what I was going to say there. I was going to say sexy beasts or something, but then I was going to, like, slip out to something different. So I, I had to stop myself. So now you guys can just be... David starting the hype train over here, too. Holy crap. We've got hype up the wazizzle at this point. There's too much hype going around. Too much hype going around. Where are we at? Oh, my God. Infinite X rule. Thank you so much. A German boy. Thank you. Oh my god, you guys are so much, so awesome. Infinite X rule, there he goes with 1,500. Woo. Crazy, man. This might be the most bits I've ever seen. In real life. It's crazy. Thank you guys, as usual. Alright, here we go. We're gonna get a bit more of this action. Bunch of 4-2. I think the best way to do this is with 4-2 engineers. They won't let me click this guy. Here, I gotta get rid of this. So I can finally click this guy. So I can put it back up. Alright, this is gonna be wild. Because they do not want you to click on your engineers. Oh my god, you guys are trying to get the level 5 hype train going? We're only 10% there, though. I don't think you guys can do it. I've never seen... I've never even seen a level 2 hype train, let alone a level 5 hype train. You guys are about to pop my cherry over here. You guys want to hear a funny story? I can't tell you which one of my friends this happened to, but he told me this story, and I thought it was absolutely hilarious. Okay. So, uh... Popping your cherry is basically losing your virginity. Okay. In case you don't know. Alright, because my adult friend, who was 30 years old at the time... Went into a job interview. And he was uh, interviewing for a job. And he was talking to the female who was interviewing him for the job. And he said something about how he's ready to pop his cherry and start this new thing with him. And she was just like, do you know what that means? And he was just like, yeah, we're going to do it for the first time. She's like, yeah, but in a different kind of way than you're probably thinking over here. So, uh, I still, I mean, that's just like one of the number one things. Like, I hope that I don't ever do that in my life where I like make a mistake. Um, I make a mistake like that where I'm just like, you can't say that. You, you can't say that, to, to, especially when you're going for a job interview. The funny part is he actually still got it still got the job and I was like dude you must have been freaking amazing you must have been boss because uh I, I to me I think that would just like ruin your opportunity right from there just it's gone I'm sorry my friend thank you guys so 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 much oh my god Adam you're here too man he's on twitch too and night terror 
Do you like to use big words? No, not usually. I'm not a big word kind of guy. Unless I absolutely have to. Um, but, you know, it can happen. So anyways, here we go, here we go. I think this is our 10th one. If not, we're already at 10. Either way, we're going to do that. We're going to start uh, upgrading Gwendolyn up as well. We're going to try to get her up as high as possible. And then I don't know what to do after that. I think I'm like, I'm pretty much where I, I can be here. At least for Tier 4. For Tier 5, I can start to sell all my banana farms and kind of switch things around a little bit. Maybe add some villages here and there. Maybe I can even go in the middle of these guys and add some extra 4 tier villages. Not sure if that's going to even help, but... Oh, oh, you guys want me to upgrade these guys? Oh, heck yeah, dude, we can upgrade them all. You guys want the red guys upgraded? Heck yeah, let's make them different. If I can click on them. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, thank you. People will find it. People are smart, right? They can use the Googles if they really want to watch on Twitch. The lag is no joke. I could probably speed it up a little bit. I could probably get rid of lag in a couple different ways. Let's do this. Let's do that. That might decrease lag a little bit. I'm just minimizing my OBS, which is what actually streams to you guys. Oh, my God. Here he is. Here he is. Here he is. All right. Let's start with this. Let's start overclocking Gwendolyn. See how much damage we're doing here. Actually, this is not that bad yet. Hype train success! Woo! All right, I don't know what this does, but I'm sharing it. Such strong support. Level four completed. Absolutely wonderful, guys. Thank you. Choo choo. We got 13 subs and 2,600 bits. You guys are awesome. All right, we got to keep going, though. We got to keep going. We got to keep buying crap. If we can click on them. Oh, my God. Ninja Kiwi, your spaghetti code is really showing off right now. Your spaghetti code is spaghetti-tastic. Alright, I don't even know if this is going to help, but I'm going to do it anyways. We're going to go for a boom, boom explosion here. Holy crap, look at the lag. The lag is wild. The lag is wild. Okay, let's try speeding it up. I don't know if that's going to help, but we're going to do it. I think I might start selling my farms. I might have enough money at this point, you know? I don't need that much crap. Let's start selling the farms, because I'm going to need this, this space for important things. All right, there we go. Because not only do I have the amount of towers on the screen that are the engineers, they all also have uh, all of these sentry guns all over the place, too. Alright, we'll get rid of this guy, too. Actually, I'll get rid of all the farms. Just say, screw you to all the farms. I'll keep my village, though. Let's see if we got any abilities ready. No, it's taking forever. It's taking forever. Look at all these sentries. Look at them all. That's just straight up ridiculous. All right, here we go. Let's overclock Gwendolyn again. I am going to buy a random engineer or two down here. Maybe more. And we're going to get some overclock in action here. I'm even clicking on the wrong things at this point. Okay, as far as damage is concerned... It actually looks pretty good. I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to take this guy down. All right. Uh, the next level, though, that's where it's going to get a little wild. I have no freaking idea if we're going to take him down. All of this is engineers. Un4 times 13. Subscription from Prime. Thank you so much, dude. Hopefully I didn't miss anybody there. There was a lot going on for a little while. Just trying to upgrade stuff and get it all going. Night Terror, thank you again, man. Um... Good luck, dude. I hope you make it to your meeting. Hope you make it. The odds, the game... You know, that's, there's a non-zero chance of that. Alright, we're going to do this nice and fast here. I do have the overclocks ready to go. Let's overclock some stuff. Let's 
Let's overclock our overclocker and then use his overclock to overclock somebody else. Wouldn't that be awesome if you could do something like that? Like it actually mattered how fast and how good you do. All right, so we'll be back in about six years. I'm actually surprised at how far these lasers are going. Look at all these spike balls and lasers just all over the place. It's like it doesn't know what to even build against Blunarius. It just builds whatever the heck it feels like. Uh, sure, I guess so. Though I wasn't plan, I wasn't even thinking about that to be completely honest with you, dude. Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. The first, the first, the first skull is coming out. My PC, I just, let me look at the PC. Let me look at what we got going on. All right, I'm using 22% of my CPU to stream and run this game. I'm using for uh, 25%, 28% of my GPU. I'm using 50% of my memory. One gig on Bloons, one gig on OBS, and about a gig on Firefox some other random crap on Discord and uh, the chat from Firefox, I guess. I'm using nothing of my disk, 0% or 1%, and 1% of my network. That's crazy that I'm saying I'm using 1% of my network. How is that even possible? 10, 10 mega megabytes per second is what I'm doing. That's what I'm uploading to you guys. This is hard to watch for all of us. Let's be honest here. You guys wanted engineers only. This wasn't Chris that wanted this. I do. I use Firefox. I don't use Chrome. I don't hate Chrome, but I like Firefox better. If that makes sense. go Adam there we go oh look who it is playing stronghold crusader yeah I do feel like uh, Firefox is a little bit better for privacy though not also fantastic for privacy either there's none of them that are like perfect but if you really like work really hard on yourself and and do duck duck go and like all that other stuff it's weird because it's like even if you try so hard Take as much privacy as you possibly can. I still feel like they they get you. You know, they, they're just like, they change the rules on the apps to be like, oh, you want to use this app, but you want to be private? You don't get to use it anymore. Sorry. You have to give us all of your data. Otherwise, you're done. So I feel like at some point you just have to be like, the amount of work that goes into keeping, uh, keeping private is just not worth it. You just say, I... I have to worship the tech overlords and just say my data is worthless. My data is worth nothing. Until they finally, like, the government actually comes into play and does something about it. Until then, it's like, it's just done. So, yeah, privacy is basically gone. It's sad, too, because, like, I, you know, I, I want to be a private guy. I don't do anything wrong in life, you know? I'm not, like, breaking laws all over the place and doing weird things on the internet or anything like that. But at the same time, it's just like... I don't want them to know all of my shopping habits. I don't want them to know everything about me and put me down as, as a, a numbers, a set of numbers. Like, that's, it's just so weird. Yeah, you want privacy? Turn off your internet and don't have a smartphone. It's about it. It's all you can do. Dead woman. I never thought I'd be excited to say that. Today I am. Excited to say dead woman. Thank you so much, man, for the subscription. It's very nice of you. And by the way, this is something that a lot of people don't know, okay, especially YouTubers. But if you guys do want to support me, and your family does have Amazon Prime, uh, one of the number one ways to support me is you can use your free, yes, you got that right, free Prime subscription to come on Twitch and subscribe to me, and I make some money, and nothing happens to you. And it's fantastic. Feel free to do that if you want. If you don't feel like it, that's okay. I completely respect your decision. But at the same time, 
it's uh, you know it's very it's very nice when you guys do that to me. You know, you guys hook up hook up your favorite uh, streamer or hopefully someone you generally enjoy. All right, so uh, God, oh God, we're halfway through. It's been uh, years. I'm gonna try to minimize this again. We're gonna try to exit out of this. I'm going to exit out of this, I guess. I'm gonna get rid of Discord, I guess. Um, only sad things I can't minimize this because then you guys can't see, right? It just freezes, which is kind of sad. But I can bring it back up, and it'll start working again. And it'll be nice and slow, just for you guys. Exactly. See, yeah. Jeff Bezos has enough money, guys. Come give me some of Jeff Bezos' money. Come on, Twitch. Give me some subscriptions. All right. Here we go. We're doing okay. I mean, we're not doing great, but we're there. We're like, we're alive. We're hanging on. Uh, just don't forget that uh, the next guy is going to be having four times as much health as this. And that's going to be that's gonna be bad. I like to think this is a pretty easy map, but against Blue Narius, it's a pretty, it's a decently short map, comparatively. Uh, especially with all of the, um, the movement going on that you have to do with all the walls in the way, you know. Are you trying to tell me that Jeff Bezos isn't rich? Because uh, if that if that's your argument, I think you got a, I think you got a problem. OP Master, he did it! Thank you, OP Master. He's the first in a long line of great people who are ready to come over here and hook me up. Thank you, guys. So, I, I'll be sure with you guys. I I think anybody who's that rich... Um, usually... Has to... Not necessarily be a nice person in life to make that much money. Um, not, not, not that a rich person has to be a jerk or anything like that, but... Not everybody who's rich is just automatically, like, a good person or something like that. Um, in fact, I would actually lean towards the opposite way. That most people who are rich probably were maybe a bit jerky to the people that got them where they needed to be. Um, so, like, a lot of people have, like, this giant boner for Elon Musk and... I don't think he's, like, an awesome person. I, I, the one reason why I say that is because one of his biggest mentalities in life is if you work, you should work for, like, a hundred hours a week and you're gonna get ahead of the game. And that's, like, not true. And you shouldn't have to work a hundred hours a week. You should mix your work-life balance properly, right? Otherwise, you're gonna be a sad person in life, you know? Um, I'm lucky enough to be able to control my own hours, and if I really needed to, I could take, like, a week off or something like that, and don't get me wrong, I've definitely taken some days off here and there, guys, um, for mental health reasons or whatever. Or oh, whatever. So, uh, I don't like that, I don't like that at all, at all. I, I hate, I hate that idea entirely. Uh, in fact, I, I believe that, uh, you know, the future is, a personally, I think that people should have a universal basic income. Nobody should be living on the streets. Um, at the very least, you should have a decent place to live, a decent amount of food to eat, and a decent chunk of something in your life. Um, just basically given to you by the government, and that not because I think that socialism is good, but because that I think our country is so gosh darn rich that it can easily afford to make sure that every person is fed and has a place to live, even if you're mentally ill or have issues in life or had a rough rough go at things. I think we could easily afford that without any issues whatsoever. I think our money's just being spent in the wrong ways as a, as a government. And you know what? I'm not a magical man. I can't fix everything. I can't fix anything, really. 
But uh, I can still have ideas, and I can still spread them to people if I if I want to. And uh, that's my personal opinion on things. We spent too much money on the military. Absolutely. Every country's in debt. There's not a country that's... Uh, is there a single country in the world that's not in debt? I mean... I don't think so. I think... I think uh, you're supposed to have a healthy amount of debt. That's actually kind of a good thing. Even though it seems almost counterproductive. Um, it, it, it's weird because... When you have a debt... And something like inflation happens... The debt that you used to owe is actually worth less than now the money is actually able to pay it off easier. So debt is kind of a good thing to have, and I'm not an economist, so maybe people can correct me on that. I'm probably sure there's lots of other reasons why, but uh, it's just because the United States has a debt is not a bad thing. It's just the amount of debt. Um, the amount of debt that the United States has could be less, and it would be nice if it was less. Oh, I got nothing else to talk about, man. I mean, we're just destroying this guy for, like, five years because it's taking forever. Thank you. Thank you. Did just shave. So, yeah, guys, this is a, a very slow, ongoing Lunarius. We can talk about whatever you want, all right? We can talk about whatever you want. The one thing that I will say is that I have a pretty open mind. And I'm willing to change my ideas and my thoughts if somebody can either prove me wrong or give me information that will allow me to change my thoughts properly. I think everybody can agree child slavery is terrible. We don't need to we don't need to talk about that. Or like I just saw. Uh, this one guy talk about on the internet, like he's a live streamer. He talked about how like the legal age of children make uh, of consent should be like twelve or something like that. I was like, "What's wrong with you, dude?" He first he's like sixteen. He's like, "Oh no, no, wait, twelve is fine." I'm like, "What's wrong with you, dude? It's little freaking kids, what's wrong with you? You're a bad person." There we go. Tier four has been popped. All right, guys, what I'm going to do is this is kind of weird. I'm actually going to give it like a quick minute here. I'm going to exit out of the game. I'm going to come back in and see if it refreshes and starts running faster. So I think we're getting to like the limit of something. So we're going to leave the game now. Now that we've beaten Blunarius, leave the game. We're going to come on back in the Blue Start of 6 We're going to see if this is going to run a little bit faster. I don't know. I don't know. I hope so. Okay, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. I want to wait until I beat Blue Darius before I did that. Oh. Looks funky. Alright, here's Blue Darius. And let's start him off. Let's do a new go! Let's press continue. Alright, right around 108 of probably around 130 rounds that we're going to have to play here, guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why do I hear boss blue music? Oh, thank goodness. He's dead. Okay. He's dead. Let's build a few more engineers. Uh, it's still gonna be laggy. It's still pretty laggy. I don't know if I can do any better than this. Alright, at this point, all we do is we try to spam as many engineers as we can in the small, tiny little bit of areas that we have left here. Ooh, Lich. Okay, so Lich... <sighs> Ninja Keeper could do it any which way. I hope that they, they make Lich and they make these boss balloons completely different than the way that they worked before. Because I think that because we had two months without an update, 
That's a long time. If they just came out with a boss balloon that was like a smidge different and didn't change many towers and didn't do much of anything different, it's like, what were they doing with all that time? I'm sure that there's a lot of people working on Blue Star Defense Battles 2 right now, but it does not mean that there's zero people working on Blue Star Defense 6. There should have been something coming out in here. So, I like to think that the way Lich is going to work is he's going to be, uh, it could go any which way, but I think we're going to have, like, not 140 rounds. I'd like it to be a little bit faster, a little bit stronger, not just all about farming. And there's going to be obviously something that uh, has to do with, uh, um, oh my god, so clock this stupid engineer. The lag is hurting me, too, because I can't click on things. It takes, like, a second after I click on something for it to actually go through. We're not allowed to use any other towers besides villages, farms, and engineers. I really don't think that universal basic income means nobody wants to work anymore. Universal basic income is not like you give everybody $50,000 or $100,000 a year. It's more along the lines of gives people enough money where they're, uh, uh, instead of like welfare, like welfare and things, you just say everybody gets the same amount of money. This is enough to survive on for an average person uh, to survive on. And then if you want any extra money, you need to work for it. And I, I think that it has to be worked out properly in the government, but, uh, again, you know, again. me as a person, I can't, like, write the bill and say, this is the magic solution to everything, right? But, but I, I can still come up with, uh, oh my god, I, like, clicked this button and it just randomly up, did it to somebody. I don't even know who. Yeah, exactly. Universal basic income is nobody needs to starve. Um, nobody's buying crazy computers and crazy stuff and all that stuff to, to... To do crazy stuff with. I, I don't know. But yes, the new boss balloon is coming out uh, pretty soon. Alright, we're actually kind of struggling against DDTs over here, which is kind of wild. I think I'm a f I think that's as far as I can get, guys. I think that's it. Every engineer that could be on the screen, I think, is on. Oh, ooh, we got one that's not upgraded. Any other non-upgraded engineers you guys see? And I do have like, like maybe I could fit like one more down here or something like that. No, still can't do that. Not in the corner over here. Not over here. Not even over here. Maybe I could sell some to like fit more in there. It's just not worth it at this point, guys. It just is what it is. Exactly, right? I mean, you do... The government right now already is kind of screwed up. You don't want to have... It's sad when people are able to uh, be on unemployment and make more money than somebody who is employed. It's sad when somebody can uh, make $100 over the welfare amount, and then all of a sudden now you don't get welfare anymore, and the people who are getting welfare who make $100 less than you are now making more money than you because they get the government benefits. It's hard to say that that is wrong and that is right. It's like you don't want to raise because you want to still continue to get a welfare from the government. Um, there's like a lot of problems with all of these things, and there's not that many fantastic solutions in my mind besides... Everybody gets a certain amount of money. Hopefully it's enough money to live on and survive. No matter what, those people will not be living on the streets, hopefully. They'll be able to at least rent a motel or do something else, and they don't have to beg for a living. I have no homeless people. Um, people who have, like, crazy drug addictions or something like that can get the help that they need. I have a lot, I have a lot of progressive um, views on life, but um, the one thing that I am not progressive on, and maybe this is bad of me, okay, I believe in the... Oh, man. I think I gotta not monetize this this live stream, guys. That's official. I can't monetize it. The one thing that I believe in... Um, that a lot of people probably disagree with me on is I believe in... Capital Punishment. I think if you killed 100 people, you deserve to die. 
get rid of him. You're a waste of, of oxygen at this point. I think there's levels to it, and uh, there has to be, like, obviously enough proof there. It's just, like, it's not just, like, 100% you did it, but, like, a million percent you did it. But, hey, an eye for an eye sometimes, you know, keeps the world in check. <laughs> Personally, the way I think about capital punishment, I think it would be like a weird system, right? Because right now, you say that 12 people have to agree to something in the United States for the jury to say, okay, they, they, they did it. 100%, 12 out of 12 people said they did it from the proof and the evidence that was like prepared before them. I think for like the death sentence, maybe you get 100 people. And all 100 people say, hey, yes, that person absolutely 100% did it based on all the evidence and proof and all this stuff, other stuff. And now you actually get to be capitally punished. All right, guys, we're going to speed this up again. We've got another seven rounds to go before Balloon Arrows even pops up. And I don't think the electric chair is the right way to do it. I think just give him a couple injections, dead. It's as easy as that. I mean, if you look back, I mean, I, I you think it's a little barbaric, but you look back to, you know, even like the 1700s or 1800s, and it's like, in certain places, you get caught stealing the chop off your hands. You... You accidentally kill somebody, everybody kills you. The government takes over and they kill you anyways. It's like, there's way too many things going on uh, for that to be the case. Hey, Sadie. Hopefully it's Sadie or Sadie. 1050 Ti, man, I need one of those. Stat. I need to get me a graphics card. No, I don't think I want a 1050. It's kind of old school, man. I want to get a 30, 30, 60, or 30, 70 at least. Thank you, Sadie. Thank you so, 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 so much. I actually haven't looked over here in a few seconds. The hockey to place the same monkey over and over again is not shift anymore. You have to uh, hold down the hockey for that tower itself. I don't like that personally, but you get used to it. And there's ho hotkeys for every individual tower here, all 22 monkeys plus. Pretzel, you wanna hook me up with that 3070, bro? You wanna hook brother up? I'm jealous, man. I'm jealous. I'm trying to build a new computer before BTD Battles 2 so I can be set up to make better and faster videos for you guys. So I haven't upgraded since literally a month before BTD 6 launched. As ridiculous as that is. So, <clears throat> uh, that's what I wanna do. Ooh, can I fit another one over here? It looks like I could. Oh, look at that! I can! Woo! You follow the sentries, my friends. Follow the sentries. But now I can't upgrade them because there's infinite other engineers in the way. There's literally, look at this. I can't even click, I can't click anywhere where I actually click on this guy. Oh, I had him! It's like right here. Right between the eyes. There we go! Right between the eyes. I'm cool with my... Uh, I have a 1080, and I'm very cool with my 1080. But basically, this computer will be downgraded to my secondary computer, and I would build a new computer. I don't just need a graphics card. I want an entirely new computer uh, because I need a processor that can actually handle the amount of stuff that I do. Well, personally, I like to believe that a lot of people can be rehabilitated. But I think that there is a lot of people that can't be re rehabilitated. Uh, I think it's already, like, ingrained in them. They don't want to be better. They can't be better. Even if they could be better, maybe they don't deserve to be better. Um, so certain things that... Certain things that they've done, I think, are, like, irre... Irre... Defensible. Indefensible, almost. Like, you've done it, you did it, and you, you deserve to be punished. Um, you know, just, we don't want to just make you better. We should punish you. I think there's a, uh, 
an aspect to that. Um, that you don't want to just rehabilitate everybody. People want people who did bad things to have, like, karma happen, you know? So, it is what it is. My specs right now are still pretty solid. I'm actually, I'm pretty happy with my computer still. I have a Threadripper 1. I've got a GTX 1080. I've got an SSD and a hard drive combo. Uh, I've got a giant case. And, oh no, I don't have a, I have a M.2 and a hard drive. And, what else do I have? Some Noctua fans and a Noctua cooler, air cooler. Don't ever build a water cooler, guys. That's one thing I've learned. Water coolers, people like water coolers. I don't get it. I don't understand water coolers. I'm not like, I'm angry that you build a water cooler, but the pumps on those things, man, they go bad so quick. The, they, are, they make a lot of noise. Just like, get an air cooler. Silent, quiet, works, it's good. As long as you have enough room in your case, beautiful. If you're building a small case, that's where, okay, I, I get water cooler. I get it. All right, guys, we got four more rounds to go. I'm not ups again. I'm not upset with people who use water coolers, but I, I am not a fan of water coolers. I will never be using a water cooler in my any of my computers ever again. Um, after the pain that I've had to deal with, and the sounds that I've had to deal with, and the failures that I've had to deal with, um, I thought for a long time I was like, my CPUs aren't that strong. I'll use an air cooler. But then I would have fans that like sounded like they were gonna freaking take off in flight because it was like had to get the freaking air through this ridiculously small air cooler. I realized you just get a bunch of metal, you get that nice air cooler in there. It's even cheaper than a water cooler, for whatever reason, because you don't have to deal with pumps and water and crap. And, uh, you plug that puppy in, and, and life is good. Alright, check this out. DDTs? No problem, bro. No problem. Also, I should probably just leave my mouse over here for when he slurps up some things. I have not overclocked anything. I'm not a big... Oh, oh well. I'm not big on overclocking. I... Uh, if if there's automatic settings in my computer to overclock something, I, I try it out. But uh, I don't specifically go out and overclock my own stuff. Hey, you guys wanted engineers. This was not my idea. I have to defend myself here. This was not my idea. This is what you guys wanted. And now we're stuck. We're stuck. We can't just give up now, can we? we just give up? Okay, we're just gonna give up. Alright, that's official. We're done. Alright, well, thanks for complaining, guys. Now we're done. Now we're just giving up. There's not even a point to play anymore if we're just gonna we're just gonna be jerks like this. Okay. Alright, yeah. I know, we're lagging. What do you want from me? What do you want? What do you want from me? Do you want me to fix the lag? Okay, I'll fix it by quitting the game. That's all I can do. Oh, you guys want me to keep playing? Okay, keep playing. All right, we're good. We're good. <laughs> I'm just messing with you guys. I'm following through no matter what at this point. It's too late. We're already two hours and seven minutes deep, man. No, the lag is bad. Don't get me wrong. There's just nothing I can do about it. I wish. If I could fix it, I would. Um, it's not even my computer. It's literally the game. My computer's using like 30% of its power. Um... I think there's something, I think there's something with the RAM of BTD, BTD6, and I hope that they fix this for Battles 2. I think it's because they had to run it in 32-bit or something like that. Um, because they still wanted to be able to play on older devices. When they should just say, screw it, screw old devices, 64-bit, bro. 64-bit. Or Ninja Kiwi needs to stop doing spaghetti code. Yeah, just make my own BTD6. We'll call it, we'll call it. We'll call it Balloons. Tower Defense 6. With an A. B-A-L-L-O-O-N-S. Balloons. Alright guys, here's the last mango of the day. Probably. We're just about to fight Bludarius. Here we go. 
Tier 5 is coming up in one round. Let's go. We got this. You know what? There's one thing. No, it's not even going to help. Maybe. Let's try it. I'm going to set my task manager to make balloons run the most that it can run. Hmm. Why is balloons not showing up in my processes? It's really weird. There it is. Hmm. Maybe I can't do that anymore. That was a Windows 7 thing. No, I don't think you can change that anymore. There used to be this option, and maybe you guys can tell me where it is, where you could say, you could set your optimization and say, like, I want this application to use more processing than this application. Like, higher amounts. Alright, guys. Round 120. Tier 5 Blunarius is about to pop. Get ready for it. Yeah, these are from Costco. I'm done being mad at Costco. I'm officially mad at Molly Tisk. Alright, boys. Here we go. Here it is. Let's go, Blunarius. Suck my balls, Blunarius. Let's see if we can take you down. I don't know what else I could do better. I don't know what else I could do. Only I could think of that, like, might, maybe, do a smidge of extra damage is if I sell a couple engineers and I do some sort of fourth-tier village in the middle of all of them. But I'm like, is it even worth it? Because I'm, like, wasting, en I'm wasting engineers and a bunch of space to get this all to happen. I already made my video about Costco. I'm no longer mad at Costco. I'm upset with Costco. Okay. But. They tried. That's what I'll give Costco. They tried to make it right. Even though they kind of sucked at it. They tried. And that's that's worth at least some points in my book, right? So, uh. We are officially. Oh, God. Not even close. That's not even 100,000 damage here, guys. This is doing nothing. These guys are doing no damage at all. Look at this. 200 pops. Oh, my God. 110 pops. Oh, my God. 71,000 pops. And look at this. It's going up so slowly. 10, 20, 30. No, we're not doing nothing with this. It is not looking good, my friends. It is not looking good. This might take us two more hours by the time we beat Blinarius. Or lose. Or lose. Costco is just a bulk store where you buy big amounts of things. I don't remember exactly what video it was about, but... Or what video it was, but... The general gist of it... Costco delivery services... When delivering my washer were really, really bad. Then when trying to make it right, they didn't care about me until I literally made a YouTube video complaining about Costco. Which also upset me. And then to finish it all off, basically, 
Um, they promised to give me like $200 back, which was like not worth my time whatsoever. But at least they tried to make it right. But then they didn't even give me my $200. I had to like talk to like five different people to give me my $200 back. So that's like the quick version of the Costco madness story. But uh, I'm not a bad... I really am not a bad customer. It's just like every once in a while, there's just companies that are just such jerks. They just get wrong. Like so many times in a row. It's ridiculous. Okay, guys. Where are we gonna get? Carly says I think we're gonna lose right here. That's my vote. Okay, drop some more of these guys down. Drop them, drop them down, drop them down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are two engineers? I see them all upgraded. Well, this guy. Oh, he's got pin. I'm not gonna sell him. Costco in store, their warehouse, fantastic. They're good to me. Costco's delivery service. Oh god. I'll never buy anything for them again. But I'm not gonna talk bad about it. I'm not gonna tell you guys not to shop there. It was in combination, yes. Got him. Got him. It's good news. Mm, this is going to be tough. Oh, I'm eating way too many mangoes right now, guys. I got like a sugar rush going for me right now. I don't know what else to do. Yeah, I'm sorry, David. I, I wish I could hook you up. I, I don't remember what the video was called. Again, again. Okay, another big fire here. Homeland defense is going to give us tons of damage. Ready, 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 go. Ready, 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 ready go. Ready, 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 go! There we go. Homeland defense. Good, good, good. Oh, God. Okay, we're gonna stop with the mangoes, guys. Let's hide them. Hide them. Hide them from me. Oh, my God. I probably ate, like, 12 mangoes on stream. Anybody wanna go count? Count how many mangoes I've, ate, I've eaten. Well, that's why I was mad at Costco. Because they didn't care when I was just a regular guy shopping at Costco. But now it was all of a sudden a YouTuber shopping at Costco. Oh, crap. Our social media is blowing up. We need to not do that. Yeah, suck my balls. Get out of here. Treat me like a regular person. Just want to be a regular person. Oh my god, guys. 1 8 dead! Give us a round of applause, everybody. 1 8 dead. Probably about a quarter way through the map. That's not good. One for you. One for you. All 
All right. Yeah. Gwendy is doing. Oh my God, Gwendy's got like nothing going on for. Why did I? Why have I even overclocking her? The one thing that I will never stop doing is being myself. Okay. Some people were at, so I just made a post on the community page, and I was asking, what would you guys like me to do less or do better as a YouTuber? And one of the things that came up was they don't like that I make some sexual jokes here and there. And the problem with that is that I am a sexual jokes kind of guy. I think it's funny to make sexual jokes, and I think that it's not good for me to um, try to not be myself. So I will continue to make the sexual jokes, and I'm sorry if that offends you. Um... I don't remember who delivered the, the Costco order, but they just got bought by Costco. We'll put it this way. They took four trips for them to uh, deliver my washer to still have a washer be broken at the end of it. And then by the fifth trip, they're like, okay, we're just gonna have to pick it up, and I was left without a washer. This was like a two and a half month saga of trying to get a freaking washer to work. It, it was just insane. And then on top of that, they tried to st basically steal my money, is the best way I can explain it. After they were trying to, like, refund me, they tried to steal my money. It was like, what? 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 What are you doing? What are you doing? You're screwing things up. That's what you're doing. And I get it. I mean, I'm not a... I, I respect delivery drivers. Even, like, the first time the guys uh, installed my washer, I tipped them even though I thought it was a bad job. You know, I was like, oh, I'm going to have to tighten this, this tube. Okay, cool. All right, I went and I, like, I wrenched it tight. I was like, all right, whatever. They screwed it up. They left it leaky. Oh, and then the washer's pff, literally pregnant. Like, a pregnant woman just, like, broke her water. Just pff, all over the freaking place. Well, I mean, one of my jokes is that I, I think Adora is attractive. I mean, no, I don't actually think Adora is attractive. If you guys want to know the truth, no, I don't think Adora is attractive. Um, but I think it's funny that you guys think it's funny, or you guys always talk about it. So, I'm not, I'm not attracted to monkeys. I'm not attracted to animals. Uh, I'm not attracted to little girls. Any which way, like that. So, uh, but I think it's funny that... I, I like it. I actually like Atora as a hero. That's the thing. I think she's an awesome hero to use. She's fun to use. That's why I like her. So, um... Here we go. Well, I don't like animals sexually. I'm not into... What's that called? What's it called when people draw all the animals and they're like into that whole naked animals thing? Like human-like animal? I don't know what that's called. Like a... What the heck's it called? Furries! There it is. Yes, that's the word I was looking for. I'm not a furry. Yes. See, that was what kept popping in my head, bestiality, but I'm like, no, no, that's not the right word. Furry. I'm not a furry. Hey, for other people, you do you. I'm just letting you guys know I'm not a furry, okay? <laughs> Alright, guys, this is where all the damage needs to come into play. We really need to power through here, right, right here. Uh-oh, I'm still guessing we're gonna get to the red here and we're gonna lose. I don't know what else to do, though. I mean, it is what it is. I've done my best. We spent almost two and a half hours here trying to beat this. Oh, like they did with My Little Pony, where they turned all the ponies into, like, real, real girls. Again. Again. Nah, I don't, I don't think so. I do have a monkey suit. I do. Ah, 
All right, guys, here we go. The first one's about to pop out here. We're going to Homeland Defense this. We're going to Ultra Boost this Engineer right here all at the same time. Want to make sure we do Ultra Boost the right guy, though. Otherwise, things are going to go bad, I think. We're going to go Homeland. We're going to Overclock this guy. Boom, boom. We do have him Overclocked. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. Things are going okay. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, Zoo File. Zoo files? Is that a real thing? You're not. Is that how you spell those? Zoophilies? The Zoophilies out there. Alright, so holy crap. We're halfway through and we're not even gonna. We're not even gonna break this first skull, guys. Halfway through. I'm doing my best right now. I'm holding it together. I'm holding it together. Engineers only. What could I have done different? I mean, the bottom path engineer is absolutely worthless. Can't use him. Middle path. I mean, we can overclock things, but, like, we ultra boost as much as we could. Sentry Paragon was really the way to go, and then I just spammed Sentry Bot, because they're all, like, the right amount of money required for these guys. I think on a long, long map, you could probably pull this off. Real long map. Plus, I have $386,000. It's not like farming was the issue here. I did not rebuy the Century Paragon, but the problem is, is that if I keep rebuying him, I lose the 10 times Ultra Boost. So, um, maybe Cubism. You can't buy the Windmill out. That would be cool, though. Just get rid of this crap. Oh, here we go! First set of, oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know what the overclocks are to do, though. I, don't, I have nothing to overclock. I can overclock these guys, but, like, is that even worth it? I, I like to think no. Oh, I could have gotten sentry guns on these guys, though. Actually, it's not too late. The blue Narius hasn't even gotten here yet, so that's an extra 12 damage at least by the end of the game. Heck yeah. All right, you guys want to see what we can do here? I don't know if this is going to change the game in our favor, but here we go. We're going to see if this is going to be the game changer here. I mean, he's halfway through and one quarter dead. So we have to not only continue to do the damage we're doing, we have to basically triple it. We have to triple the damage that we're doing right now. And I don't think this guy is going to be that magical answer here. But uh, I guess you never know. All right, we got to find the right guy here. We definitely have to overclock this guy. Ultra boost this guy. There he is. The bad balloons are barely hanging on uh, as well. Wow. All right. That's rough. Bad's taken down, boys. Taken down. All right, so this guy, I don't even know how well he doesn't have it yet. He doesn't have the alchemist yet? Are you kidding me? All right, let's just do this anyways. How much lag? It's been about 20-something minutes since we started Blue Darius. That's how bad the lag is, if you wanted to know. All right. We're going to break 2 million. My goal right now is to break 1 million health, but honestly, I would love to take this guy down. I would love to take this guy down. If I could, my dreams would come true. All right. So what's up here? Hmm. I don't know if that would be in range, but I was thinking about where I could put, like, another fourth-tier village to, like, really help out. These guys are kind of out of range at this point. Oop.
Okay. I also don't know if that's in range, but now we can get rid of these four guys. It won't even let me sell. <laughs> That's how laggy I am. There we go. There we go. Alright, we're gonna get another village. Oh, it's official. Didn't do engineers only now. Just give up. I clicked on the freaking village. I can't even sell this guy. Alright. I'm really... Oh, I think this guy's not even in range. Alright. Well, that didn't go according to plan. I didn't even click the button. Alright, let's get ready to ultra boost. Gotta make sure we ultra boost the right guy, though. This is very important. I think this would be a good level for, like, a, a Dark Paragon, personally. Alright, let's see if this guy does anything. Yes. I think this guy's not in range of the Call to Arms. He's not in range of the Call to Arms, which kind of makes sense. It's not like we're going to change everything right there with that, but... Uh... It is what it is, I guess. I have a feeling we might might lose to the bad balloons that come out at the second skull. If not, for sure, the third uh, skull over here. If I could delete houses, things would be much, much better. But it's sad we can't delete houses. Hmm. We lost, boys. We lost. It was a good fight. We tried. One for you. One for you. You know, I really wish that I had the time or like a a second person to work for me to change the title and the thumbnail when I change to do different things. But I don't. Don't have another person. This so guy's got to deal with the fact that you're running two hours and 30 minutes late. Should I just say BTD6? It just That's it on the live stream. That's it. 640 is a lot of freaking people, man. Well, I don't know why there's 640 people watching this. I can tell you that much. We're gonna lose. That's the worst part about all this. It's like if we actually was, we're gonna win this. It would be epic and fun, but it's just like slowly losing. See how close we can get to not losing. It's really, it's really where we're at right now. How close can we not lose? How close can we? Uh, how close can we get? All right, overclock this puppy again. These are all 4-2 engineers with my one main guy right here. He's doing almost all the work. He's got 2.8 million pops so far and in counting. He's 10 times overclocked. I thought I did pretty good. I did just say screw it. I did decide to get a perm brew over here later on in the game. I think even if I got him early on in the game, I don't think that would have made that much of a difference, though. I'm excited to see what Ninja Kiwi does with the Super Monkey Paragon. I have a feeling that they might just say that the Vengeful Temple is the Super Monkey Paragon. But maybe they'll even rework the Vengeful Temple. I don't know. But I think they put a lot on their plates with these Paragons. Uh, we'll see you, buddy. We'll see you next week. Oh, Dartling Gunners would be super freaking easy. Holy crap, you can get a bunch of top-tier, uh, fourth-tier Dartling Guns. Own. 
get a, a mad, a, sing, a single mad, done. You win. Um, oh my god, Dartling guns would be easy as crap. I think there's quite a few towers that I think would be reasonably easy. I think the uh, Dart Monkeys would be a little tough. Boomerangs would be a little tough. Cannons would probably be a little... Uh, cannons would probably be doable. Spam like 50 Moab Eliminators and Moab Assassins. Yeah, I think you can make that work. Tack Shooters. Yeah, you could do Tack Shooters. Tack Zone plus a bunch of zero tier, uh, fourth tier uh, stuff. The Ice Tower was not clickbait. We already did the to Ice Tower, so shut up. Uh, Ice Tower is definitely impossible. We figured that out. We got to third tier, though. That was actually not bad. I thought well, I got, that was a lot further than I thought we were going to get. Alright, let's get the overclock on that guy. Let's randomly overclock some crap over here. It won't let me overclock anything because the lag is extreme. And, um, glue, I don't think you could even get remotely close with glue. Snipers would be interesting. Snipers might be possible. Yeah, snipers might be possible. Subs, again, maybe. Buccaneers, probably only on, like, a crazy water map. Uh, same thing with these two guys. Crazy water map, only way it's going to work. And, it, and even then, it's, like, gonna be really freaking tough. Monkey Aces, I can see Monkey Aces doing it. Uh, a lot of top path, fourth tier monkey aces, but space is definitely an issue with monkey aces. You'd have to have a lot of space for those guys. But you got the Sky Shredder and the Flying Fortress, which are both really good by themselves. So it's like, they could probably pull that off. Heli Pellets, maybe. Space is good, but even if you get those fifth tiers, the fourth tiers really aren't that powerful. And the amount of money you need would be crazy. Subs work if you got a decent amount of water to work with, for sure. Uh, mortars. Um, I don't know. I like to think that mortars could do it, but honestly, I I don't think they could. I don't. I don't think they could. I think I think dartling guns would be easy as crap. I think wizards would be probably tough because you're thinking about spamming fourth tiers at this point. You have to spam a million arcane spikes, and that would be ridiculously tough. Super Monkeys would be a very interesting one. Because you can go anti blue and Legend of the Night. And those are pretty powerful. And you could go for the Temple, but the Temple isn't going to really do anything because you can't use any um, stuff. Yeah, I'm going to say it. I don't think Mortars can do it. Uh, ninjas. I think you could pull it off with Ninjas because you can use a Grandmaster with um, a bunch of Shinobis to do tons of damage. And then also... You can Master Bomber it. And I think that's going to be where all your damage is going to be at. Um, Alchemists, definitely not. Druids. I think you can do it with Druids. Spam just a bunch, a bunch of bottom path Druids. With maybe like a Superstorm or something like that. I think you're good. Yeah, I think Ninja would be pretty easy, actually. Uh, and I think Druid would be difficult, but definitely doable. I think Spike Factories... Spike Factories would be tough. Spike Factories would be very difficult. I, I don't know. Let me think. Because you got to spam four tiers. Don't forget about that. I think if you spam enough Spike Storms, like, maybe. Maybe. Village obviously not. And Engineer, we're learning that Engineers are very good. But they are going to top off, especially on a map like this, around Tier 5. Um, that's pretty true. This was basically B36 and Mangoes, huh, guys? Does anybody else do this, where they just come and they pull out their hair? And they just see what falls? Am I the only one that does that? Maybe it's a, a weird anxiety thing. I'm not really sure. All right, guys, here we go. This could be the death of us. I like to think that it will be. 
Remind me never to build this many engineers ever again. So we've done only support towers. I think only... I mean, obviously, if we could do it with a single tower, I wonder if... How hard it would be to do magic monkeys only or military only or primary only. I don't think it would be that bad, realistically. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing, but easier. Boomerang only, I think, would be really difficult. Because the fourth tiers aren't very expensive. The The main problem with engineers is the fact that I don't... I can't... I don't have any money to... I have too much money. I can't spend it on anything. I've done the best that I can. Same thing with darts. I mean, Super Monkey Fan Clubs, you can't even activate more than one Super Monkey Fan Club at the same time. Oh, you know what? I guess if we got a Paragon. Okay, we could do it. We could do Paragons. It won't even let me. S <laughs> there it is, 130. We got down to 1.3 million. It was actually the bad balloon that killed us, um, not the blue Darius itself. Yeah, bad balloon to knock through. There it is. Engineers couldn't quite make it, guys. Couldn't quite make it. I kind of, I kind of suspected that, but I wasn't sure. You know, when I walked in here, I didn't know. I didn't know for sure. But when I saw them in action. After tier 4, I was like, this is a very, very, very tight battle. I barely beat tier 4, and I didn't add that much more for tier 5. That was the issue, you know? So, uh... Alright, well, good luck. Good luck, my friends. Retry, no. Hey, I thought you were supposed to leave, Mbappe. You said you were going, I thought. Anyways, guys, I'm heading out for the day. Um, I'll probably turn the Ice Tower one in. I might just mix them up. I might do Ice and Engineers into a single video or something like that. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Because this was uh, this was quite a wild ride. It was two and a half hours of ridiculousness. Two hours and 42 minutes of ridiculousness today. All fighting Blue Darius. And we still didn't even beat... That's the crazy part here, guys. After all of that... All of that. All of that. All of that. Oh my god. We have still not beaten the normal Blenarius. <laughs> Which is like... you could. I could probably beat this guy after round 60. Oh, you're back. Oh, so you won the game. Oh, you did leave it. You're back at it, man. There you go. You won the game. Awesome, dude. Thank you. Hey, it's the Ratete Llama. Congrats to you and Amanda, my wife, and I just celebrated our four-year mark. I've been watching your content after getting back to BTT6 earlier this year, and the first live stream I have is a uh, and your first live stream you have as uh, uh, as you have a two-year-old. Great content. Thank you so much, Llama. That's so nice of you, man. That's so nice. Both of you guys. Thank you, Mbappe, and thank you, Llama. Congrats, by the way. Two-year-old, that's got to be rough. That's like that's like the age of roughness right there, I feel like. Personally, I, I'm i looking forward to having kids eventually. But I want to just skip the first, like, three years. Just, like, have them be able to talk and walk and do things. And, like, I'm good, you know? Before then, I'm just like, oh, they're freaking annoying, aren't they? I feel like they're annoying. Kids in general, it's, ugh. Ugh. Maybe that's a bad reaction to have, but that's how I feel. So, thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, uh, I'm sad. I'm sad that you're you're here just right at the very end of the stream. But we are heading out for the day. 
I'm um, here for almost three hours today. And I will be back here next week, guys. Next Friday and next Saturday. Yeah, right? Babies? Just like, what's the point of a baby? You know? <laughs> no, nah, I'm not talking about kids. Kids are cool. Three-year-olds, four-year-olds, five-year-olds, six-year-olds. Yeah, that's good. They're fun. They can learn. They can do things. They can talk. They can tell you what they want. Babies just make faces until you figure out what the heck they want. You know? Babies are kind of annoying, right? They just cry all the time, and they sleep all the time, and they're like, hey, do this and that for me, and I don't even want to tell you how to, what I want. It's just like, Bleh. duh. And they take too long to grow. Oh my god, babies, just skip the baby stage. You know, I think if there was a next stage in evolution, they should just have everybody get a C-section and just have babies come out like two years old, just like ready to go, you know? It's the next stage in evolution, guys. It's perfect. Well, congrats, David, and congrats. Congrats, Llama. Everybody's having good things happen to them. That's what I love to hear. That's what I love to hear. Oh, the last thing I want to do for you guys. Here, hold on, hold on, hold on. For anybody who's still hanging out, let me, let me, let me get this going. Let me get this flowing. Why is this not popping up? Oh boy. Give me a second, guys. Well, if you guys want to head out, feel free. I'm just I'm just showing you guys a, a t shirt. That's it. That's all I'm showing you guys. I want to show the same one on black and just get you guys' thoughts on it real quick real quick. Um So show I think it looks okay, but again, I have to, like, look at it before I actually look at it. If that makes any sense. Man, why does this all suck so bad? Oh, I love the name of this one. All right. You can absolutely design a shirt for me, man. I've been uh, looking for a designer for a long time. Uh, I have, I cannot. The only thing that I cannot do is I cannot promise that I will use your design, because I have limited taste. But uh, this is the one design that I did not show you guys earlier, uh, because it was on a white background and people didn't like that very much. So let me show you guys this one. It's on a black background now. It'll be one second here. Almost there. Here it is. All right. There's the black background. So that's what this shirt will look like. It's kind of like a weird psychedelic pattern background. Uh, if you look at it like super duper close, like, I don't think you can see this just because it's a picture and it's like through a picture of already a picture. But it's like uh, it's, a, it's a weird design. It's got rainbow colors in it, you know, kind of like all over the place. It's just like white background of SJB kind of thing. That's what it's going to look like. Just want to get you guys' thoughts on that real quick before I go. Better than the white one? That's good. Back Black one looks good. Cool, cool. Like to hear it. Interesting. It's okay if you guys say you don't like it. Like that's, You won't hurt my feelings. Because I am planning on putting it up online, I think. Unless people, everybody was just like, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. It's terrible. So. Alright, Llama. I'll eat a mango in your honor, man. I do have a mango. I already eaten like 20 freaking mangoes. But here we go. I still have them over here. One more mango slice on our way out today. Well, you guys tell me if you like this shirt or not. I got... We got this. We got this one. We got this one. And we got this one. 
Those are the four. I love dark colors. I put them all in black. Fourth one. A lot of people like the fourth one. The thing about the fourth one, I wasn't sure about, is would people actually, like, guess it might look good, but is it something you'd wear? Because the way I think about it, Again, I was, I was mentioning this sort of earlier, is, yes, people can think it looks cool, but is it something you'd wear out in public? Because some people, they like to have a little design on them, but they don't want people to know, like, for sure I love monkeys, and for sure I like this and that and this and that. So it's like, do, I, do you want people to know that you love BTD6 and that you love SJB and that you love all this stuff and you like monkeys? Or do you just want like a little design where people are just like a little curious, like, ooh, that's cool, that's JB, what's that? You know, I wasn't sure. But uh, thank you, Anthony. Forced one, the forced one. You like this one, man? You like this, this big boy right here? I'm gonna move the design up a little bit. I might put it on the back and I might put like a little white SJB thing in the front. I'm not sure. Out of curiosity, do you guys like this? Oh my god, it's freaking huge. Why is it so huge? I was told that they that uh, people did not like this. I wish there was a white background. I don't have a white background. That's all you guys get. This this thing right here, this thing moving around. This is my favorite, too. I like the little rainbow SJB. That's my favorite one. You guys do like this one? It's like a J with a dart. So I got a couple... I got a couple more. Like, this is where the original design came... Oh, it's probably gonna be huge again. Oh, it is. It's freaking huge. This is where the this is the actual design that goes on the shirt. If you guys can actually see the patterns now. This one um was one I decided I didn't I didn't really like that much. It's like a little tight, but I was able to work it into uh, this design maybe. And then there's also this one which I really didn't like. It's like it's hard to see what's going on. It's like weird. Didn't like that one at all. Uh, there's also different designs like this one where it's just like sort of Hard to see what's going on there. I didn't really like that one too much. This one was really interesting. I thought I was going to really like... No, not this one. This one's bad. This is the one. I like thought I was going to really like this one, but I'm like, oh man, this is like... It's like really weird to look at, right? Really weird to look at. So most of them, you get to pick the color and you get to pick uh, the type of shirt. It's going to be kind of cool. Um, the way that I'm going to work it basically is, hopefully, if all goes according to plan, because I'm a, I'm a down-to-earth guy, I get to price it however I want to price it. Um, and I'm not the kind of guy where I'm like, I need to make a ridiculous profit off my shirts or anything like that. If somebody buys a shirt, I'm cool with it, you know? Um, I basically want to pay for, for what I paid for the designs. If I make it back and I go equal on money, I'm cool with it, you know? I'll make money off of YouTube, and if you guys donate and all that, I'll make the money there. If, like, we can just break even on shirts, I'll be happy with that. Because in the past, I have done a lot of things where I paid people for different designs and things like that. I've done my uh, merch shop launching, and I, I mean, no offense, it's just like, it, it was like negative money, basically. A tie-dye shirt? I cannot do a tie-dye shirt, Anthony. 
I'm sorry. That is not an option there. Um, I could probably get some sort of weird, fully square rainbow design, but the entire shirt couldn't do it. You know, it's like you gotta do it on the front, you gotta do it on the back. So I don't think it would work out very well. I don't think it would look very good. Oh no, it would be in the the low, the low to mid twenties probably, like, like, uh. The problem is, is, I really like when people not only get shirts that they like, but also get shirts that they like that are really comfortable. And I would rather make less money on a very good, nice shirt that you really like than uh, a lower quality shirt that you don't really like and don't really want to wear. So I'd rather make less, again, like make the higher, or more expensive shirts actually less expensive, meaning I get less money when you guys buy one. Um... Just so everybody's happy. Everybody, you know, you get a good quality shirt. It's comfortable. You like it. You can show it off. You can have fun with it. You know, that kind of thing. Um, I'd rather not have you buy a shirt that costs $25 than you get it and you're like, wow, I could literally go to the craft store and buy one of these for $4. That's just stupid, you know? So. That's my plan. I got a, I got a lot of designs. That's the weird part about it. Like, oh man, let's see if I can show it off here. Kind of forgot where I put this stuff. Oh, just out of curiosity, while I'm here, I guess. These are the four designs for the monkeys. I'm gonna get rid of this for now. Oh, no. I'm gonna get rid of this for now. Get rid of this. Man, these are freaking huge. I mean, I guess that's a good thing, because you're not going to lose out on any quality. These things are freaking huge, dude. This is insane. I wish I could make it smaller faster. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So I can't really uh, steal any of Ninja Kiwi's stuff. That's the problem. So I gotta be careful about what kind of designs I use and all that. I can't use anything from Ninja Kiwi's uh, pictures or all that stuff. And I still don't really want to use even my own design of a tower kind of thing. Like, just as an example, I've got things like... Let me show you guys. Like the thing in the thumbnail. Um, that's my own design. Or I worked with an artist to do it, rather. Something like this. Like, I would, I think that would be cool to, like, put something like this on a shirt. But, like, it's just, maybe. I, I, I don't know.
I don't think people. I don't know if people would really like that. You know, I don't think I could do heroes, but like certain towers, I could probably pull it off. Um, I would not know which one to go for though. I really wouldn't have any idea which one people would like the most. Um, like this one. I don't know if people would like that kind of thing. <sighs> hmm. I don't think people would put that on a shirt. That's the thing. I don't, I don't know how that would work on a shirt. I don't think people would want it, personally. I have a lot of different artworks for a lot of different towers. Not every single tower, but a lot. I have, I think I have some heroes stuff. No, not really. This one, oh, I love this. The artist, Jellytron, freaking amazing, dude. He was my favorite artist. He kind of, like, retired from my channel, though. Um, I retired from a lot of his art. I think he got, like, his own job and all that kind of stuff. Prince of Narctis gaming chair. That's kind of funny. Here. Let's see what else we got. Um, don't have the Prince of Darkness. I like this one. I think this one looks really, really cool. I need to use this in something. This guy, this guy would definitely be like the front, the front of things. There you guys go. There it is. The squad.
Boom. I just probably delete the foot off of uh, the alchemist, and then we'd pretend like it's good. Just chop it off. Right? I, like I said, I have to delete his foot somehow. <laughs> I don't think I could do that on here. Filters. Crop. Bottom. No, I can't do it. Uh, can't do it properly. I don't think I have an anti balloon. This is the closest I've got. The tech terror. What would the Berserker Brew Cup look like? Cheers. Maybe this guy would be better in the back. Instead of the alchemist. Yeah, the stream's over. I was just having fun. I don't know. I don't know if I'd want to do something like this. This would be uh this would be kind of ridiculous. I'll get rid of the sun avatar. SJB in the front. Hmm. Done. The one God to rule them all. The vengeful. Honestly, I don't think DigiKiwi would care if I used something like this on my own merch. Uh, I did not draw them, but I did have uh, somebody draw them for me. They are they are considered my artworks. No, I shouldn't say that. I own the rights to the artworks. 
Like if somebody else used them, I would be upset. Uh, unless it was the guy who actually drew them, but I don't think he would be using them for anything. Subnautica. I actually played Subnautica. I didn't really. I wasn't a. <sighs> it wasn't that I wasn't a huge fan. I I actually enjoyed it for what it was, but I never finished the game. Uh, I believe yeah, that is probably technically just a a vengeful fifth B three five sun god. Anyways, guys, that's it for me. I am heading out. We will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Goodbye, everybody.